everything. Hi, what's up, guys? Welcome to Law Explaining the Interwebs. I'm your muted host, Nick Ricada of Ricada Law, a small law firm in central Minnesota. And I'm starting, I'm starting out this way today on this screen because mainly because I didn't set up the chat on the other screen. So uh, with me today, though, is uh, my good buddy from Anime Outsiders. Uh, let me unmute him. Uh, Mr. Cody Bear. How's it going, buddy? Fire. Fire. God, you did it again. I can't. I can't get it right. I can't get it right. Uh, so, yeah, Cody is with me here. And, uh, Howdy, as, peoples. Yeah, as well as all of you fine folk, of course. And we, have, course. A, we have a big show today oh oh it's gonna be good we have a big show um now cody uh we gotta talk man last time you were on people got people got a little perturbed with you i don't care about that i care about <laughs> i think my performance sucked i, well, I was i was mad at myself because here's the thing you know that episode of south park where, like the internet goes out and it's like here's fema camps and everything and then uh, stan's dad gets addicted to internet porn so he sneaks in there and then when they they open the thing he's got like these there's like cum all over the walls and shit that yeah. was me <laughs> that was me because i had been pent up with all that shit for like what when would what how long is it between the state of the the whatever episode you did and then the episode you had me on it was like what was that it like was, a week and a half i think yeah it was it was pretty long pretty i was long. i was like sitting on that that whole time like i i got a little out of my system when i did the uh, the other side podcast on that um and yeah. i think i articulated my points a little better on that podcast so like Man, I had some kind of blue balls when I came on your, your stream, and it was like, I was like, okay, you had some stuff that you wanted to say, and then just all of a sudden, for fifteen yeah. minutes. And then you said, you said all of it right there. Yeah, I stand by <laughs> what I said. I think I just said it way better. I like how uh, what Josh from Kiwi Farms put. What do you call a spurg tornado? <laughs> yeah, that was. I think that was accurate. <laughs> that was yeah, it's pretty accurate. It was. Like, I mean, yeah, I'm used to making people mad. I've been making people mad at my opinion since before I started AO. I don't give a shit about that. I was just like, oh, my God, I can't believe I fucking blabbed on and on and on and on for, what was it, 15 minutes or some ungodly number? Like, It might have been longer. It oh, been my longer. God. Oh well, my anyway. God. This is why I have co-hosts on my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is going to be different. Uh, we are going to watch. We're going to watch a deposition video. And it is, uh, it is, I have dubbed it um, one of the least likable people you'll ever see. And um, this is the deposition of Ron Toye. This is videoed. Uh, the only, I don't, we've got two, two segments of the video prepped here. Uh, the prepping involved redacting any information that was stipulated to be redacting, redacted, which I believe is just uh, names. Names of people. Yeah. And I don't think on the first segment we're going to have any redactions, but uh, you may notice it on the, the second segment if we get there, if we get there. But we're going to watch. Yeah, like uh, these are long. The first one already is it's 41 minutes, 42 seconds. So I don't even know how yeah. long the second is going to be. The whole the whole deposition is is four hour four and a half hours. We are not going to make it through the whole thing tonight. It's not going to happen. Oh, boy. So, uh, <laughs> but we're just going to... We're just going to go ahead and laugh and uh, talk about what's going on, give opinions and impressions. Let's uh, let's get a couple things clear. I want you guys to remember this, that because this is important. Law Twitter, Law Twitter, those very smart pumpkins on Law Twitter, all believe that this is the worst deposition possible. Um, this ends Vic's case. I don't know how many times Vic's case has been ended other than every time. I've heard from the get-go that his case was dead in the water, that it's it's over, uh, it'll be dismissed immediately, TCPA immediately. Of course, none of that happened. None of that has happened. Uh, the filings of the TCPAs have taken way longer than anyone would have normally anticipated. Uh, the the actions of the defense attorneys are, are a little bit strange in all of this. Um, especially for people with ironclad cases, I'm saying who, who could definitely win straight out. So law Twitter has said that this, this deposition is the worst it could possibly go. This deposition is, uh, is extremely, oh wait, no, no, I'm talking about Vic's deposition. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that Vic's deposition was the worst ever. Uh, this is Toye's deposition. They haven't seen this. I don't know that they've seen a transcript of this. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I think, 
mean, I've I've seen snippets. I've seen uh, I, most of this video. I'm going to be watching with you guys for the first time. Um, I've seen uh, snippets of the video. Um, I haven't had time to watch through like the whole thing. And I've seen uh, the, a lot of the transcript. So we're going to be covering all of that stuff, all of that stuff as we go. Uh, just kind of laughing along at Ron. And um, yeah, it'll be I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be fun. I, of course it's going to be fun. We get to watch a fucking quote unquote man squirm for like an hour, <laughs> two hours, three hours, however long we get through this. Uh, so we'll, um, we'll do that. Uh, a, a couple, a couple things before we get fully started. Cause once we get started, I don't want to derail from this. Um, yeah. I have two matters of grave importance. One matter of very grave importance. And that is, uh, I'm going to be signal boosting Bubba fest over the next couple days. Um, Facebook has unilaterally labeled Bubba Fest a racially insensitive festival. Of I'm not it is. I'm not kidding. Not based on anything that anyone can find, just maybe the name Bubba Fest. Well, you know, that's in itself a form of bigotry, a form of prejudice. As a man from a southern background, I am offended, sir, that you would assume that because something is southern it is automatically racist. Oh, I am showing you know the that's hangouts what it is. link. Just a second. Just a second. Me, uh, oh no! Are you showing the link to this hangout? I I mean, did you dox this hangout, you I son of a bitch? Did and I really? <laughs> it would be annoying as hell. Oh, Nick, you you're adorable, sweet <laughs> chicken or whatever. <laughs> uh, hold on, I gotta find this stupid thing. I, <laughs> I hate Streamlabs. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, that's that's beautiful. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what do you do? What am I? What am I? Some sort of professional? Like I, I do this for a living or whatever. You, you just what you talking a boomer about? roll tonight between the muting and the lateness and the all kinds of stuff. Boomer night roll every night. Now, look, guys, I know you could probably find it, but if you jump in the stream, I'll, I'll, I'll Minecraft myself and then start a new <laughs> hangout and it'll be a mess <laughs> and derail everything. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, anyway, so Bubba Fest has been labeled a, a apparently a racist organization. No one can figure out why. Uh, maybe they just don't have enough um, white people coming to their show. I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. Uh, but that's, that's what's going on. So their YouTube or Facebook has limited their advertising budget, the, or their advertising allowance from $1,500 to, per day down to $25 per day. Are you so, kidding? Jesus Christ. Yeah. So we're going to be uh, signal boosting them. Um, I am going to have Chris on the show, hopefully very soon, as soon as we can work that out. And uh, and we'll be talking Bubba Fest and, and hopefully trying to get them, you know, uh, boosted and, and talk about this issue and uh, maybe laugh at Facebook for being a bunch of robotic cucks or something. Well, I don't know. Well, I mean, they're so bad. I don't know if you heard. They were uh, considering like, cracking down on anti Zuckerberg memes. Like some something came out that they were like gonna put a kibosh on anything making fun of Zuck. Oh yeah, that sounds like a great plan. We should just yeah. do that. Cody's column is high and I'm low. I'll turn it down just a bit. Um, okay. It's hard to tell these things because we're yeah, because sometimes they're just fucking with you. Yeah, that's true. You can't that's trust true. these people. God. <laughs> I always trust the chat, even when they lie to me. <laughs> um, okay, so next point of business. And guys, this is mission red alert. This is red alert. There's all you only get this opportunity. Like, I don't know, since this is the internet and since I've started the show only like 55 times, but you only get this opportunity once in a lifetime. And that is Akiva Cohen, super lawyer. IP litigator out of New York, superhero attorney, so, so has threatened to sue the Kiwi Farms. I cannot stress enough how much I want, finally, some champion to come on and put the Kiwi Farms in their place. Akiva Cohen is the short little squirrely New York attorney to do it. I cannot... I can't stress enough how much I want him to go after those nasty doxers. Those nasty, evil doxers who stole his copyrighted photos of his children 
Don't know why he's uh, claiming to have registered copyrights of his children's photos. I am definitely going to be trying my damnedest to find the registered copyright or the copyright registrations because I believe Akiva. I believe that he is just douchey enough to take a picture of his kids and register the copyright <laughs> just in case the Kiwi Farms were to ever dox him. And he has threat. He's going to be the owner of Kiwi Farms. He said it on Twitter. I, I, we have to make this happen. We have to ruin Joshua Moon and Akiva Cohen is the diamond trader to do it. And I only say that because he represented a diamond company in one of the well, cases I looked up. But does Akiva not sound like a Japanese superhero? I mean, I, well, surely he's maybe a different twenty feet tall. And, maybe and, a different and, J superhero, but <laughs> may, maybe, maybe. I'm just saying. I really want. I could not ask for much more than a super lawyer from New York suing Lolcal LLC. Oh God. <laughs> Oh, I'm God. sure it's gonna go well. Of course, totally. This th every time people have tried to take down the Kiwi Farms, it's just been met with rousing success. I don't know how they're still online. And if you uh, if you look, I mean, super lawyers are with him. They're encouraging him. This can only go well. I don't. I don't know what you have to do. I don't know what you have to do to make Akiva Cohen do it. But if he files that lawsuit, I'm in heaven. I'm in I swear to God, law Twitter seems like everybody's practicing to get to finally get their blue check mark. No, they're all practicing to get Ken White's mouth on their penis. <laughs> I mean, let's I can't. There's there's just nothing else. There's just nothing else. <laughs> well, have uh, you seen Duchette's have you seen Duchette's Twitter banner now? Yeah, the thread knot. <laughs> yeah, did he you had, see by the way? It was he, had art, logo? he had art made for his Twitter <laughs> background. Oh my oh, god. That. Did you see who made it? This is the interesting thing. Did you see who made his Twitter banner? Uh no, it's who the, made it? It's the uh what was his name again? It was the guy that uh like that writer for Voltron that jumped in the kick Vic thing early. I think he's the guy that said Vic put his balls on my neck. Oh, like that, that guy? guy? Not Emmett yeah. Plant. Not not Emmett was Initiative. It? Yeah, it was him. It was Emmett Initiative who made yeah, let that. Let me check it again. Let me double check. I just want to make sure that I'm not uh crazy. Yep, it was Emmett Initiative. Yep. No joke. That guy, I saw him tweet today. He's like, I, uh, I drive a 2004 Toyota Highlander. I worked a bunch of crap jobs just for the opportunity so that you know my name today. And I was like, who knows your name, you weirdo? <laughs> I, 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 sent, I sent you on the uh, on Twitter DMs uh, the follow-up tweet where he shows that it was Emmett Initiative and shows the other variations of the Twitter banner, including the one that makes him Daredevil. Oh, my God. Uh, yep. Yeah, uh, the only way that that guy could look in the mirror every day is if he were blind. Um, <laughs> I just love that his name is pretty much Duchette. How perfect yeah. is that? I told you last time I was on this stream. The world is a cartoon sometimes. When oh, a it is. bald asshole comes in and his name is fucking Duchette. Well, okay. So in the motion against me, they criticized me for not having uh, any cases on Westlaw or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. um, which I, I don't care. You could look up my state court records. And to Akiva Cohen's credit, he pointed out that I've litigated about 25 cases uh, either – uh, mostly family and civil stuff, or no, mostly criminal stuff, and then some family and civil stuff. I, I don't do a lot of litigation. I've never represented otherwise. Never have. Um, so it's it's great. But uh, he was at least honest about it. Um, I went ahead and looked up Doucette on uh, Westlaw to see how many cases he had. He has three. Uh, my plan doesn't give me access to all three, only the first two. And he lost both of those. So that was good. I was very <laughs> promising. Um <laughs> Both of them lost, uh, and the appeals were lost. Uh, the other one I I don't have access to right now, but I'm trying to get it to find out if he won that one. But since it's captioned the same as as uh, one of the ones I could look up, I'm pretty sure he lost it too. But we'll see. I don't know. Maybe he won that one uh, and not the other. Would be weird. But maybe he did. I, I well, look, couldn't he, read he it. Wasn't, he wasn't big enough of a douche to win the court, ca court case. He was only a douchette, so, you know. A man can only do so much. And I say man in quotes. Now, and, and remember, like, I guess three cases on Westlaw is is infinitely more than zero. So I got to give him credit. I got to yeah. give him credit. But, ooh, who? That was, uh, goodness.
Goodness gracious. Look, man, he's the thread knot. <laughs> Don't make fun of him. He's he's the knot something. Like, touch me not. Uh, <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. But anyway, uh, speaking of speaking of Greg Duchette, please, in the description is the Teespring store. If you go there, you can actually buy a Cuck Lightyear mug or sticker. <laughs> They're out there. It's the full on uh, Cuck Lightyear with the CPAP machine attachment right on his face. Maybe I should pull this up real quick and then we'll get started. I love that. I love the Cuck Lightyear thing. I don't know why. Just something about that name. It's... It gives me the giggles. Well, it was only because someone drew the stupid uh, face. Where? Hold on, I'm pulling it up. Uh, let me get the. We'll get this. I got mugs. I th I thought we had stickers. Maybe we don't yet. But we'll we'll get some stickers up there. I don't know if people would wear this as a shirt just because I. It's well, you know. Here 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 it is. Uh, it'll pop up for you in like 20 seconds, Cody. Sorry, I don't have an oh, easy way to. Okie dokie. It's on the stream. If you've yeah. got the stream pulled up, but there's I don't. the. There's the Cuck Lightyear mug. You can see the CPAP attached to his face. And then on the back, it says Cuck Ranger. And it's got the it's got the Cuck Bull uh, going on there. So um, if you guys want to want to check that out, that's just a little handy mug for you. And I think we're going to have some stickers. Uh, we're going to have some stickers coming that uh, look pretty similar. I might do a shirt, but not a not a ton of people. I don't think people want to wear that because I wouldn't want that guy on my body. Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. So you guys can go check that out if you like the mug. Uh, and if you don't, here's the best part. If you don't want to buy the mug, it will never, ever hurt my feelings because the in, it, it cost me almost zero dollars to make these things. So just selling the mug on the site is funny enough to me. Uh, the If you guys want to buy it, that's great. If you don't, you can just laugh at it. And the joke is done. And that's all I care about my entire life is that the joke is done. So, <laughs> all right, should we jump into this uh, thing? Should we jump into this? Cody, jump you ready? In. I mean, actually, right. I didn't know if you wanted to wait till peak hours like you usually do with this stuff or just wanted to go, because oh, it was long. So I think we should go in. But... We're at 6,500 people already. I think we should just do it. Just do it. All right. Uh, yeah. I'm turning you down a bit. I don't know why. You're just, uh, you're loud. I'm not, well, I mean, I am a loud and guy. You, your levels are consistent no matter where I set your bar. So I think the noise oh gate is limiting you, but it's it's a little sharp, I think. So I got you down a little yeah. bit, but you're okay. still you're still you're still loud to me, Cody. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're so here's how we're gonna do this because there's not a convenient way to like stream to you guys and for Cody and I to be on par. We're gonna we're gonna do a three, two, one play, and then. Uh, we will, if you want to stop it, just stop it. And we'll try and verify timestamps every so the often. The ghetto method, yeah. Yep. Okay, you ready, buddy? Ready. Three, two, one, go. All right. And we're going on the record. Oh, look how tiny his face is. Oh, he's like <laughs> a boy with a beard. Today's date. Oh, look at him. 7th. 2019. Dude, he has no time jaw. Is no, none. It's just a neck that goes into At a face time, with a beard we'll on it, so you know where the face starts. For the record, yes. And then the court reporter will swear in the witness. Ty Beard appearing for Victor Mignogna. Casey Eric here for Ron Toy and Monica Real. Sam Johnson for defendant Jamie Markey. John Volney for Funimation. Carrie Christie for for Victor Mignogna. All right, uh, defendants have uh, the same agreement that one objection uh, applies to all defendants. And we also want to confirm on the record that the confidentiality agreement made yesterday during Mr. Mignogna's deposition uh, we'll remains in right. effect, uh, subject to the court's ruling uh, today, this morning, regarding the affidavits uh, produced That's June the of a by sad man. Defendants Monica Real and Ron Toy. Yeah, he makes in soy jokes, but this really is a feminine uh, looking sorry, man. He's got like lady eyes. His stories. eyebrows look like they've been done. That's yes. an ugly broad. I agree. Yeah, he's, he's got all the earthworm gym neck. You notice that? He's got a really <laughs> long segmented neck. Okay. Uh, uh, yes. Sam, do you oh, agree? Sorry, That's okay. Do you agree? It'll. It'll it'll get louder when they're doing the direct question. Yeah, right now it's just like the lawyers are okay, all sort uh, of turn your wallet over to him. Chiming in if they're here. Okay. okay. You ready for Mr. Yep. I need you to raise your right hand, sir. You do solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but He looks like a little kid who yeah. doesn't know where he is. Like with that smile. Yes. 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 
Yes. He's just happy that people are paying attention to him. All right. It's Tori and Ty Beard. I represent Victor Mignogna in this I'm important right okay, now. Okay, hold on, pause it. Okay, okay. Uh, we're bad at this. We have to be careful. Once the talking starts, we have to be careful not to talk over it. We'll practice yeah. this pause thing. But yeah. um, if you guys wanted to see why well, I called him a disabled squirrel, just look at how he's reacting to what's going on around him. No chill. Dude is nervous out of his mind. You can tell. He's fidgety. He's looking yeah. around. He's <laughs> he sees a he sees a sack of nuts and he wants to eat them. Uh, like this is uh, yeah. Th this is this is my point. And as we go through these guys, I've got Rial's video and I've got Vic's video, and I think you'll find a stark difference between the performers and the toyes. Uh, I think I think that's going to be apparent as we go through these things. But um, and we will be going through all of them. But I just wanted to point that out. So as as we go forward, now that the the questioning is about to start, we're gonna not talk over, and we'll we'll let them ask the questions, answer, and and when we find a good spot, we'll 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 hit a stop, and and then we'll yeah. pick back up. So all right, yeah, here right we now, go. They're just, they're just doing the whole, you know, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Do you know you're here and all that stuff? It's the it's the setup, the prep. Yep. So here yeah. here we go, guys. And uh, as for loudness, I think it's probably. About as loud as I can get it. Uh, I'll I'll turn it up a bit and see if that helps. So here we go. Uh, three, two, one, go. Have you ever been deposed before? Yes. Okay. So you're familiar with the process, basically. Somewhat, yes. Okay. Let's go over it just to be sure. Um, the ground rules are pretty simple. I'll ask questions and you'll answer. Um, if you would. Don't interrupt me while I'm asking just because the court reporter wants to be able to take it all down. If I ask you a question that doesn't make any sense, feel free to say, can you re rephrase that or I don't understand. Um, I'll let you answer your question. Um, there will be objections. Occasionally your counsel will, may object to form or to, uh, to privilege. I would suggest that when you hear your client, your counsel object, you stop talking. Um, <laughs> But objections to form, generally speaking, you still have to answer. We just get it recorded. I may object to non-responsive. That's really a technical thing. I'm not, you know, trying to offend you or anything. But we, as Sam said yesterday, we have to control the the dialogue. But feel free to answer completely any question that I ask. If I ask it unfairly, such as, "Do you still beat your wife?" It's okay to say, "I don't beat my wife." You know. Um, you have any questions? Hold yeah. on. Pause. Pause. Sorry. No one is under any illusion that that guy's beating anybody. I just, <laughs> I just got to point that out. Uh, Dude, can I, can I just? Uh, he, I can't believe he actually has that voice. Oh if yeah. He actually has it. Uh, yes, I'm uh, the, 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 the little lady boy voice. Like that's his real voice. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Holy uh, shit. So I'm at, I'm at three sixteen. You ready? Uh yeah. All right. Three, two, two one, one, go. 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 I think the court reporter asks that. Uh, do you ask about reading and signing the deposition? Please do. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. You have the opportunity to read and sign your transcript at the, after it's over. He'll, yes, we agree to that. He'll read and sign. Thank right. you. Thank you. Yeah. Mr. Tor, what's your full name? Ronald Joseph Toy the Third. Okay. Um, are you the fiance of Monica Rial? Yes. Okay. Um, Mr. Toy, would you agree with this proposition that someone accused of a crime should be allowed to defend themselves? Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's so, what kind of defense would you agree they should be allowed to put on? Objection form. One that respects whatever state they live in and the codes that go along with that. Okay. Is he going to cry? Well, are you a pedophile? No. Okay. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, you heard the guy's voice. You have to check. <laughs> He's got that fucking hello, little boy oh. voice. Whoa. <laughs> oh. oh, boy. Straight out of the gate. 
That took no time at all. That took no time. <laughs> Whew. Whew. Uh, Look, sorry. I, I think the real shocking revelation of all of this is that the man that we're watching right now is straight. Allegedly. That's the, yeah, that's the real surprise here is that this man... <laughs> No, I just love the ladies. I just love a good pair of boobies in my hand. <laughs> I'm uh, Ronald Joseph to Boy Toy the Third. Oh, oh, come on, <laughs> come on, not the third one. Uh, oh, hold on, what, what is this doing here? Let me get that out of there. Uh, sorry, some self maintenance on the uh, yeah. on my own end. Um, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I just had to pause. I I didn't know where that question was because uh, I remembered reading it in the in the transcript. I was like, whoa! But I, it was right away. That's funny. Um, okay, so uh, I want to I want to point out during this segment, um, you know, he's going to be look at. So there's there's some strategy to this, of course, which will be. No one likes to be called a pedophile. But what have they done to Vic, right? Like, that's that's what's going on here. And uh, let's see how this line of questioning plays out. But watch his body language and reaction to just the very notion of it. I think that'll be that'll be interesting. All right. Three, All right. two, one, go. Forgive me, your tone indicated a certain degree of indignation when I asked that question. Is that fair? Objection. Don't answer that. <laughs> What is the objection, counsel? Any any answer he gives would be misleading and harassing question. That's not a proper objection. Does it offend you if someone were to call you a pedophile? Come on, you can do it. Objection form. You can answer. Yes. Answer the question. Does it offend me? Can you repeat your question? If someone were to call you a pedophile, question. would it offend you? It would offend me, yes. Why? Objection um, form. Because it isn't true. Okay. Should you lose your job if someone calls you a pedophile? Objection. Is this just, is his lawyer just going to do that every time? Evidence to it, then I absolutely believe it. Fair. Pause. 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 <laughs> Okay. <laughs> First of all, uh, yeah, you're going to hear a lot of objection to form. It's um, it's just preserves the ability to object on the record. I don't know why they don't agree that every question has objection to form just automatically built in and they can mm. object to it later because that's all it means. And they clog up depositions and transcripts and it's stupid. But uh, so you'll hear Casey say objection to form quite a bit during this. But um, it, that, that doesn't stop you. The only objections that you don't have to answer uh, the question tend to revolve around privilege. There's a li very, very extremely limited set of objections that you can do on deposition. Form means you object. It preserves the objection. Uh, and that means like uh, objective form is like the shorthand that Texas has, Texas and other jurisdictions have for objecting to relevance, objecting to all of these things that will have to be ruled on by a judge in the end of the day. Um, Objection to I, privilege is different because you can't divulge that privilege. You can't force that privilege information at deposition because it's yeah. privilege. But um, I, I just love that his lawyer said objection. Don't answer that to would it upset you to be called a pedophile? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, that's not a proper objection. Yeah. <laughs> Which, just don't answer that. Cause what? Because you think he's going to say no? No, but, I get that uh, a lot. The uh, the the interesting thing there, of course, is that he said, "Should you be fired if you're called a pedophile?" And he said, "Well, well, if there's some evidence to it." But you're not. You just said you're not a pedo. So why should you be fired if you're not a pedo? There, there. The answer is no. But I know why he can't say that. Right? He can't say that. He's got to keep in this evidence thing. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna, Wait, where are you at? Uh, five minutes and 32 seconds. Okay, let me... There we go. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Fair enough. But what if there's no evidence? What if somebody just simply says, Ronald Toy is a pedophile? Should should you lose your job because of that? Objection is for Cause of speculation. Could you repeat your question? Not a proper objection, counsel. What if there's no evidence someone simply says Ronald Toy is a pedophile? In that case, it's a sure. complicated question. Right, it's a multi-question. Yeah. If someone says Ronald Toy is a pedophile and produces no evidence other than that allegation, should you lose your job? Objection for 
the part of that question is uh, if it's a random person who says it, there's no corroborated evidence, and evidence maybe a testimony that's outside of a random oh my stranger. God, his mannerisms. And, and a company a investigates a to testimony. their ability to look into the claim. Then, if the employer deems it necessary, then sure, and it would be appropriate for an employer to fire that person. Okay, I didn't mention a company though. I'm simply asking. You a said a job. Question. So usually you, a job is. Associated oh, you're talking about your company that employs you. Well, you had mentioned if a person. Fair so I said well, I'm answering the question you asked. If a company or a job fired a person, would that be okay? So I'm assuming when you say job, Ronald Soye is no longer a, a joke. It is now a job. descriptor. So if I'm, and I don't want to, admit, I don't want to put words in your mouth. Sure. So if your company investigates uh -huh. and fires you as a result of these allegations, that's fair. Objection four. Right. So if they did their investigation and they did this, and we're talking about me, or let's say hypothetical person, right? No, no, no I'm, we're talking about you. Well, for me, if there was claims that were substantiated and other people had come through and a company investigated, there's no reason to doubt that company's integrity. Pause, so, yeah. pause, what? 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 Are you, I mean, are we, are we serious? Are we serious? He's so cucked to his own lie. He's so cucked to his own lie that he says that if it's me, or a hypothetical person, but if it's me, let's say it's me, it is me. If if it's me and you call me a pedo and there's no there's no allegation, but the company does their investigate, there's no reason to doubt the veracity. <laughs> Look, well, if you say I'm a pedophile and you get enough people to say it, I guess I like kids. I don't know. I mean, I never thought of myself as a pedophile, but I mean, you've got the proof right there in the pudding. So you know, honey, I I can't. Who am I? Who am I to argue with that, sister? Like, oh, there's no reason to doubt the company's investigation. My God, man. My God, if you're not a pedophile, don't ever just... Well, I guess I guess since a company decided I was a pedo, I must be. What kind of ridiculous argument is that? Like, does that mean he goes out and diddles kids after he's found to be a pedo? Like, is that the next logical step? What the heck? Oh. Here's the thing. He doesn't, he's not thinking about what any of these answers mean. He's just desperately searching for what he thinks is the right one to win. Like he's, he's not trying to make, that's, that's the kind of thing that the left does and people like him do. They don't look for, you know, what makes sense. It's what can I say that'll win this? That'll mm -hmm. win this situation. What's the winning answer in this multiple choice? So that's why he's he's feeling around for something that, you know, supports his argument, supports his case. And he doesn't realize what he's saying. Yep. It's absolutely ridiculous. All right. Yeah. I'm at 720. Uh, yeah. three, two, one, go. Yeah, that would be fair. Okay. So the company should, no reason to doubt the company's integrity is what you're saying, that you presume that their investigation is totally fair. Correct. Okay. I don't, I don't want to put words in your mouth. I think it's fair for okay. the company. You said that if the evidence was corroborated, mm -hmm. could you give me some examples of, ev of corroborating evidence sure. that you think would be corroborating? Multiple people saying the same story, same account of what happened. Okay. So if two people call you a pedophile, should you lose your job? Jackson four. If the company did the investigation and they deemed it ready for two people, Oh absolutely. my God. I can't. All it takes is a man or and, is and a company investigation, a and on, you should lose your job. A person who is accused of those things, and two people say it to a company, a company should have the right to make a determination if that's the type of person they want to employ. Yeah. What or if the contract. company's investigation isn't fair? Does, do you still think that you should lose your job? Objection four. The company is in a position to make a decision for what's best for the company. Okay, that's non-responsive. Objection. Non-responsive. If the company's investigation is not fair, as you define the word fair, sure. is it reasonable that you would then lose your job merely because two people accuse you of being a pedophile? Hold on, pause, but, pause before he answers. Did you see the smirk? Did you see uh, it? It's he's been uh, smirking this whole time. I know, but look at. Uh, I'm gonna go 841, uh -huh. eight, 840 and 841. Um, I'm back at 840 because I can't get to 841 because okay, yeah. Windows just pisses me off. But yeah. I'm going to hit play. I want you guys to watch his face during this. And you tell me that if this is played to a jury of people, they don't immediately distrust this sack of garbage's answer. The next words that come out of his mouth, 
are i mean it's it's clear all right so uh i'm at 8 40 three two one go people accuse you of being a pedophile objection form yes it's fair it's fair it's absolutely okay. fair so whatever the company wants to do correct is okay with you as long as there's been an investigation okay. to whatever matter i'm curious what would you define as an investigation somebody Sidebar, asking another question form. Sidebar is not a problem. That again and Sorry. Him, when he starts objecting, let him yeah. hit the court answer. Thank you. So say your answer again. Yes, it's fair. Okay. Counsel, I'm, I'm, I'm entitled to ask you what what was the sidebar objection? The curious, your comment about how, how you were curious about his answer. I am curious about his answer. I, I may object to that. Okay. Fair enough, I guess. Right. Okay, um, pause. Sorry. That's the third improper objection in nine minutes and that nine minutes includes three minutes of introduction uh <laughs> there is no objection to sidebar unless the, there there actually is a proper objection to sidebar and that is if you are the deposer and the deponent sidebars to their counsel for an answer then the deposer can object to a sidebar because because the deponent's counsel cannot actually uh offer advice during the hearing. They're just there to levy objections and to tell their client to answer the question unless the objection is proper, like privilege. But uh, objection to sidebar from the defendant's counsel in this case is absolutely improper. Very weird objection because uh, Ty asking the questions can actually say, well, I'm curious about that answer. Or he can actually talk to his co-counsel. He can do that. Toye cannot. Um, it's uh, it's it's interesting. I don't know what Casey's doing. And maybe this is strategic. Maybe he's like, well, I'll just levy out uh, stupid objections that aren't real um, to kind of throw it off. I'm not sure. But uh, I just want to point that out that that's that's where we're at in this, that this is how it's being played. All right. Well, I just we, according to Ron's own logic, if enough people say he's a pedophile, well, that means it's fair to call him a pedophile. It must be true. So, you know, it, it would be a shame. <laughs> I just don't endorse everyone going out there and saying that Ron Toye is a pedophile, touches children, and, let, and makes him uh, sit on his earthworm gym face. It, I don't it, think anyone should do that. Totally don't. It's a really, uh, the GoFundMe link, by the way, is in the description, guys. Uh, so if you want the GoFundMe link, it's the top link in the description. Um, we it is, be shilling that later, by the way? Uh, yeah, we'll shill it uh, probably in about 30 minutes. We'll take a 25, 30 minutes. We'll take a break from the depot, oh. shill the GoFundMe and hit some super chats and stuff like That'll that. This this one's a little weird for super chats, I know, but we're going to yeah. we're going to hit a bunch of them in just a little bit. Um but that is a weird, weird premise to put out there. Well, if if enough people call me a pedophile and call my company and tell me tell them I'm a pedo and then they fire me because they're like, well, dude, a lot of people say you're a pedo. So you must be. I mean, if that happens, well, then I guess then I guess I should be fired. It's the like Michael that, Jackson logic. It is the absolute opposite of what ev everything our country is based on with due process and and the very idea and nature of defamation and i guarantee you this little soy filled sack of cuckery would definitely sue people who did that to him i guarantee you he would of course he would because anybody well maybe he wouldn't because i'm about to say anybody with any sense would sue people who who just randomly decided to call him a pedophile with no basis for it, but just that the company determines that enough people said it, it must be true. What a stupid sack of trash. This, this, and this lispy dumbass is fucking smirking because he thinks he found the right answer. That's the best part. And he's just, <laughs> he's just <laughs> making it worse with this fucking logic. And but again, he thinks, he thinks he's got it. If you play this video to a jury, what are they going to say? Of course he's going to say that. That's what he did. Look at him smile about it. Very he, weird, very weird answers to me. He should say no. He should say, no, I don't believe that. Why wouldn't you say no to this? He has no, he's not involved in Funimation's hiring decision over Vic. He has no duty to carry water for Funimation firing Vic. He should just say, no, you know, if, if uh, you know, if two people accuse you of pedophile. No, of course you shouldn't be fired for that unless you are one. Like, how hard is that? 
Uh, no, not unless you're a pedophile. Then maybe you should be fired. Simple also, answer. Also, the whole soy thing. Just when you think the soy thing might be overplayed, we actually see what he looks and sounds like. And no, that is not. It's not a joke. It's not a nickname. It's an accurate descriptor. Holy shit! He's got <laughs> baby face. He's got wim a woman's eyes. He has literally no jawline at think all. It just goes from neck to face. He's balding, but he's trying to hide it by spiking his hair up in the middle of his giant Vegeta widow's peak. And like, uh, good those, God, man, those eyebrows the are waxed. List. Those eyebrows are waxed and they look dark. The darkened. lisp on this dude, like Jesus, that is not a straight man's voice, man. Just imagine. Oh, remember when he, him, and Monica were trying to flex? Like, oh my God, you say he's a soy boy, but we have such a raging sex life. <laughs> yeah, just go back to gross. those tweets he made and think of him in that voice. Like me and Monica, we just get it on all of the time. Oh my God, sister. <laughs> she's like a dynamo. She's my uh, she's my little narwhal because uh, she's like a horny whale. I oh, love her. Gross. Okay, we got to stop that. All right, all right. Let's get. I'm at nine twenty eight. Uh, nine twenty. All right, it's about yeah. where I am. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> now back to the question. I'll repeat it. What do you consider a fair a, a, a fair investigation to look like? Objection four person that has been trusted with a position to overview a company's policy to then talk to other people involved in the company and make a determination what's best for the company and their brand. That's a fair investigation to me. Is it possible that person could be wrong? Objection four. You know what? It, this is the, the question isn't about if it's wrong or fair. Mr. Is Toy, it I fair? get to ask the questions. Right, Please but I get to answer question. it and you can object however you'd like, but that's how I'm answering Mr. the Toy. question. That's non-responsive. I'm going to object cool. to that. And I answer. I'll question. ask the question again. Sure. Is it possible that an investigator for a company could make a mistake? Objection. Four. That's not for me to decide. I'm not the company person. Objection. Non-response. Cool. Not cool. Okay. <laughs> Is it possible that the company representative might collude with third parties to attack the person, to attack you in this hypothetical. Is that possible? Objection four. There's a lot of hypotheticals that could possibly happen in the universe, but in a situation, I feel like people who make it to a position where they can make a determination for a company's brand probably wouldn't do that. Okay, I didn't ask if they would probably do that, Mr. You did I'm say asking a very simple question. Collude together as a probable Is idea. it possible sure. that an investigator could collude with, with your accuser and find you guilty of being a pedophile and, f and fire you. Objection four. That's assuming a lot about a company. I know, but I need an answer to my question. <clears throat> no. Objection four. It's not possible. It's Objection four. Pause. <laughs> Sorry. It's not possible. <laughs> it's outside the realm of possibility that that this guy, that, that the, the company investigator, it's outside the realm of possibility that the company investigator would collude with someone else and call you a pedophile when you're not. This guy thinks he is the smartest person in the room, and it's embarrassing. I'm oh my god! I kind of love him. He's like he's like a white lispy perfection. I kind of love him. Oh. I'm starting to love him. Like not not in the way he wants people to love him, but okay. This, yeah, I just can't believe I'm still at a gas that he's real. I can't believe this is he's actually every joke you've ever made turned out to be accurate and true to life. I'm not. <laughs> okay okay uh let's let's get back into it sorry uh yeah. three two one go Can you know there is no i just want to be I'm real sure here i'm not badgering you i just want to be sure. sure i understand you if i is this a fair statement of what you're saying it is not possible for an investigator in a company to collude with an accuser of an employee well that you're saying in a, in a in a whole grand scheme of thing it, there's a possibility that it could happen okay yes. So there is a possibility then. Would you call collusion people gathering evidence to corroborate a story? I get to ask. I get to answer the questions. Well, Mr. I'm trying to help yeah, define well, it. Just, let's yeah. just, let's I get to ask question, questions. Answer the question. Answer the question, you cuck. So if it's possible, then that if, if I'm hearing you right, sure. if it's possible that an investigator for a company could collude with an accuser. Uh -huh and therefore find you guilty, and I'm going to use that, I'm putting that word in air quotes for the court recorder, understanding it's just a colloquial term. Mm -hmm. If that's possible, is that, is that a fair outcome in your opinion? Objection four. 
again, in my opinion, if a company did their investigation, then yes, Objection, it's fair. Objection, non-responsive, you're not, okay. I just That's answered fair it's enough, fair. Fair enough, Everyone fair enough. let each other finish. Fair enough, fair okay. enough. And then, fair right. enough. All right. If my questions are unclear, feel free to ask for me to restate sure. them. I'll be happy to do so. So, hmm. just be sure. If I understood you, you said it's possible that an investigator could collude with an accuser and find you, quote, guilty, unquote, of the accusation, and you think that's a fair outcome. Objection for. Next question. Yes, I do think that's fair. You think that's fair? Yes. Okay. <laughs> what oh if my there God. is no what if there's no investigation and someone just accuses you of being a pedophile? Objection. Should you lose your job? Objection for. Does the comp well, no. Oh my well, god. If two people accuse you of being a pedophile, but the company doesn't conduct an investigation into it and they just fire you out of hand, is that fair? Objection for. Can you clarify or make that sentence a little bit smaller so I can answer it directly? I'll try. Sure. Pause. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> can you make that <laughs> sentence smaller so I can answer it directly? <laughs> My brain couldn't wrap itself around the idea that if two people accuse me of being a pedophile and there's no investigation and I get fired, is that fair? That was the hardest sentence for him to understand. So hard that he needed that to be smaller. Smaller. Oh my! That, how, much, how much you want to bet? This is the kind of guy that's made fun of dumb Southerners, and now here's a Southern guy answering a basic question. Like, I'm sorry, that was just too. Can you shorten that a little bit to me? That's just too much. That's can you, just too much. Can my you please? Brain just can't handle it. Can you please take that logical progression from A to B to C to fired? And is that fair? <laughs> and then please make that somehow more simple for me. I don't know how to answer. The, the, there's not much of a way to simplify that sentence. There really just isn't. Oh my This guy God. is so low T, I feel like he's transitioning. <laughs> I feel like he's transitioning back so he can transition again. Uh, <laughs> like it's like a it's like a moth returning to the uh or to the <laughs> to its chrysalis he, or whatever. It's like an Ouroboros of Soylent. Um <laughs> just, He's just licking the soy sweat out of the pores as it comes <laughs> off of his own feet. I Disgusting. don't want any to escape. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, sorry. Uh, let's let's get back into this. 1336 is where I'm at. Mm -hmm. uh, three, two, one, go. If two people accuse you of being a pedophile, he looks like and he you're not, to fuck tie. <laughs> please understand, I'm not accusing you of anything in mm -hmm. these questions. These are hypotheticals. I am. If two people <laughs> accuse you of being a pedophile, and your company doesn't conduct an investigation, but just fires you out of hand. Is that fair? No. No? If they do not do an investigation and just fire you, okay. then no. Hmm. Hmm. What if four people accuse you of being a pedophile and they do not do an investigation? If they do not do an investigation. Uh, let, me, let me get it all out so it'll read right. What if four people accuse you of being a pedophile and the company doesn't do an investigation and they fire you, is that a fair outcome? Objection for. If the company doesn't hear about it or do an investigation I, and you're fired, okay, then no. I, let me try again. I didn't say anything <laughs> about the company not hearing about it. If four people accuse you of being a pedophile mm -hmm. and the company does not conduct an investigation but simply fires you, is that a fair outcome? Yes. Four. That's fair. If they hear about it, yes. Okay. Wow. What if the only way they heard about it in this last hypothetical is that your accusers contacted them privately and told them? Is that still a fair outcome? Objection form. Yes. Fair outcome. Absolutely Objection. fair. Okay, pause. Okay. Sorry. Again, for those, uh, just in case the super lawyers are watching, um, he's suggesting that if four people privately contact your employer, call you a pedophile when you're not is still the premise of all these questions and they fire you without investigation. He's saying that's fair. That is tortious interference of with, with an existing contract under any definition of the law that you can muster. That That is flat out TI. 
Um, and he's like, that's fine. He just he's admitted that tortious interference <laughs> with contract, especially via a defamatory comment, is fine. He's going to have so many people calling him a pedophile now. <laughs> like he's that is going to be his life from this it, day on i could just say this, this is a, you walked right into this ron this is your life and it's of your own making you're gonna get called a pedophile you're gonna get calls to your work because everybody knows where you work now they're gonna call you a pedophile they're gonna they're gonna try to see exactly how much you really believe this shit oh god you are a retard jesus it's uh it's amazing it's amazing everywhere he goes it'll be like have a seat <laughs> <laughs> look <laughs> His waiter, his waiter will will actually like he's going to go into Chili's with Monica for the all you can eat rib special or whatever. And they're going to go in and he's going to be like, uh, ma'am, here's your table. And sir, why don't you have a seat? <laughs> the, the waiter's just going to say, have a seat over there. And he's just going to be so fed up with it by that point. He's just going to snap at the waiter like, I'm not a damn pedophile. Just it's going to echo so at the restaurant. Everyone's going to stop and look at him. What if he and just then, then dinner's ruined? And what then if, that's it. what if the what if he is, though? He sounds like one, no joke. Like, you I mean, know, I, pedophiles have that, like, like the gay man voice, but like soft about it. Like, hey, little boy. I doing? certainly have no information to suggest that he is. But what yeah, if he were? Part. Like, these are weird answers. What if yeah. he were? It's it's crazy. And maybe that's why he's so uh, adamant about the accusation. Because you know, it's like that. If you accuse other people hard enough, it's you're covering up for your own thing. Maybe it, I don't it, know. It, might explain why he keeps smiling while they're talking about him being a pedophile and being accused of being a pedophile and just can't stop smiling about it. Yeah. Also, also the way he's smiling, the way he's talking, a lot of his gestures, he looks like he wants to fuck Ty. Like, he's, he's, he's eyeing Ty to be the next bull. Like, like, <laughs> like, I mean, you just come in, you can have a little fun with the narwhal and I'll oh, make you a sandwich. Oh, God, that's just, I don't. Man, the last thing I want to picture is, is Monica in any sexual way. It's, it's physically <laughs> offensive to me. Um, Okay, let me let me do uh we're gonna do like I'm gonna try and break up the the super chats. Um, because I know a lot of people have stuff that have that they want to say during this thing, and I don't want to push it off till the end. So I'm gonna do 10. Yeah. I'm gonna do 10 and then we're gonna move back into it. And then we'll shill good. the GoFundMe in a, in just a couple minutes still, and then we'll do like 10 more or something. John Doe says, So Nick, which part of the cosmic cock of Cthulhu would you swear on for Jay Sean? The shaft, the underside of the glands, perhaps. Looking forward to the replay on this one. Salivating war dogs, we are. Time to objection let loose. Form. Yeah, objection to form. Uh, <laughs> objection form. Just every little bump where a hair comes out. That's that's the part that I would swear on. Uh, Adam GBK1 says, Nick, holy hell, I came here to laugh, not have my retinas bleached by what looks like looks to be an amalgamation of a kid fid kitty fiddler, murderer, and cuck lord. So, I mean, that was unsolicited. That was at 8.30 p.m. That was just Toye's face on screen. And the person oh, thinks the they, they look like kitty fiddler, murderer, murderer and cuck lord. Freighter he looks Jay. like a substitute art teacher. That's what he looks like. <laughs> uh, he looks like an unemployed substitute art teacher. <laughs> Freighter J says, Ron has the look of a man on his first day of work at a job he lied on his resume to get. <laughs> uh, Lord, Lord Weebly says, be Monica's bull, use ultimate attacks. She spurts off the bed like a bottle rocket, pinballs around room and cum coma. <laughs> Soye's rat cuck voice whispers from the closet. Thank you. I poop the bed. I run for my life. Not worth it. Gross. That was, that was like green texting via super chat. That was fantastically disgusting. That was, that oh, oh. was awful. It was great. I hate everything about what just happened. So we're, so we're clear. Well, don't, don't talk bad about the little narwhal. Uh, that was just gross. Oh, my, my stupid chat window broke. Hold on. Oh no. Uh okay. There we go. It just stopped updating for some reason. It decided I don't need to I don't need to update. Oh no. Oh god, I hate it. Uh hold on. Hold on. We've got technical difficulties oh, no. that are definitely not related to me being a boomer. And our Okay, while you're fixing it, I just have to point out uh yeah, go for it. On the A I just checked the AO Discord and someone pointed this out and I can't unsee it. He looks like someone did like the fucking Fine Brothers did a Dragon Ball Z fusion. Like they put on the fucking earrings. And he looks <laughs> like the fusion of the fine both Fine Brothers. Yeah. Gross. Gross. <laughs> uh let's see. All right, where were we? 
Sorry, I'm, I'm getting to... I have to go to an alternate page because the stupid uh, YouTube window screwed up. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay, Diablo says, All right, boys and girls and soy-filled crybabies who may be watching, I'm putting 20 bucks down that Ron Soye lied out of his rear end during the entire deposition. Mr. Amish Hunter says, What is the typical legal time frame for determining an individual's hourly rate? Please accept this tribute towards bolstering your YouTube hourly rate. Uh, I don't... I think you just have to make the argument um, because some people's hourly rate spikes. Like obviously mine spiked right in February, uh, right around the start of this thing. So my YouTube hourly rate spiked. Uh, otherwise, you know, sometimes you have to go back to two years of 1099s or whatever, depending if you're self-employed uh, or if you just have a paycheck. Um, there's a lot of different ways to determine it. Uh, best way is just to convince convince the uh, court that you what you're determination is is correct ixel pierce says my wife thinks her degree in criminal justice makes her a lawyer until it's uh, makes her a lawyer it's unlawful for any court docs especially depositions to me be, be made public without a trial already taking place and the appeals process to have begun can you explain it to her yeah outside of a gag order or some sort of privilege there is no restriction on the release of information there just isn't uh, that information, as long as it is properly redacted towards any agreements that are out there, and as long as it is properly uh, not violating any sort of privilege or gag order of the court, in the U.S., we have a First Amendment right to discuss things, and, and lawyers do too. You may not like it. Alex Jones's deposition video was leaked to the internet, presumably by the law firm uh, that, that did the deposition against him. No one, no one got any sort of trouble for that. Uh, it's just depositions are there. Uh, the other party leaked Vic's deposition transcript. Um, well, they, they did it in their, in their motion. And you can even watch, uh, some of law Twitter talk about how they didn't need to do that. And it was a little bit atypical to release it all. Both of these sides seem to have figured out that releasing this stuff has a public impact that may benefit their clients. And that's part of a lawyer's job is to act zealously in representing your clients within the bounds of your ethical obligations, of course. So they're do they're they're taking the fight public, and that's that's how it's gonna be. Uh, Mr. Armageddon says about two months ago, Nick, I recall you saying that the lull suit was still more crazy, uh, was more silly and crazy of a case than this Vic case, but it was close. Has your opinion changed at all? Oh yeah, this is this is getting to be more ridiculous than the lull suit, only because the lull suit stopped. Um, at some point and calmed down and very early on it calmed down. And then we had to wait for motion hearings and discovery never really happened and all of that stuff. This is, this is exceeding it very quickly. Uh, all right. Two more Baron Nathan Dean says being unlikable seems to be a pretty big disadvantage for someone in a jury trial. I think some college found out a real hard way that irritating smug sanctimonious people don't help the case. I don't know. I don't remember. Yep. That's interesting. It's interesting. And Sven Sorensen says late and Lemoyne, which is a bit rude. A bit rude. How dare um, you? Yes. Uh, okay. I think that's that's 10. So our, let's start it back up. We'll do we'll do uh, about five more minutes and then we'll shill the GoFundMe. Five to 10 more minutes or something. We'll shill okay. the GoFundMe and do uh, 10 more. Okay. Ronald Toy, 15 minutes and six seconds in. Ready? Right. Three, mm -hmm. two, one, go. If you're accused of being a pedophile, would you not naturally want to defend yourself from those accusations? Objection. Can you say that again? Would you want to defend yourself if someone accused you of being a pedophile? Objection. Yes. Okay. Let's walk down a little hypothetical with me. Let's say someone tweets out that you are a pedophile. Mm -hmm. What What would you think you would typically do in response? I would ignore Objection that. Form. Let's say that. Okay. <laughs> Let's say that thousands of people see that tweet mm -hmm. and start commenting on it. Mm -hmm. What would you do? Objection form. I would ignore it. So you've ignored. Pause. You've been accused of Pause. Things. Sixteen minutes and one second. I'm sorry. Absolute bullshit. He would <laughs> ignore it. 
He would ignore it. He couldn't ignore people calling him and Monica liars. He still can't. He will probably be masturbating while tweeting out about this stream tomorrow because he will just be indignant that I will sit here and say, you are a lying sack of trash, Ron Toye. You are a liar. And that is the biggest lie you've said so far. Of course you wouldn't ignore it. You're addicted to Twitter. You can't not respond. You just have 10 thousand smiley faces in whatever dumb response you came up with and everybody would know that you were a pedophile the second you answered oh my god he lied oh, that that burns me up <laughs> he can't his lawyer can't stop him from not ignoring shit he's it's, gonna it's, try to tell a fucking law another lawyer a jury whatever that he would totally ignore it that is I would. Okay, I'm just totally. I, I, I would ignore I, I, it. Oh God, he's precious. He's fuck a precious little baby boy. I just love him. He won't ignore being ignore being called a cuck to the point where he will respond that it is better to be a cuck with Monica than live a moment without her. Like some teenage emo poet, uh, it is. Is better to have cuckolded and lost than never to have cuckolded before. Um, he will he will throw that out there because he is so clinically incapable of not responding. But call him a pedo and he's fine. He'll just ignore that. Why in God's name would you ignore being called a pedo if you won't ignore being called a cuck? What? I certainly hope people don't take him up on that. I certainly hope <laughs> no one tests out that theory. Oh, God. <laughs> ridiculous just enjoy getting caught a pedophile forever now you fucking moron because that's your future all that's right. you're gonna be, the ron soyer thing is gonna fade and then it's just gonna be pedophile okay you, uh 1601 uh three two one go I asked have you ignored it and never commented on it objection four depends sometimes well what accusation would you feel strongly enough that you would defend yourself on Objection. what accusation would be made if it wasn't a can you repeat your question yeah Sorry. yeah that was that was a poor way of phrasing it <laughs> you just said that it depends on the accusation right correct I hear that correctly okay sargon what accusations <laughs> give me some examples rather strike that give me examples of accusations that would move you to defend yourself publicly Objection for. I'm not sure. Anything. Well, I mean, you said being for. accused of a pedophile wouldn't. <laughs> right. Okay. What if you were accused of being a murderer? Would that would that induce you to defend yourself? Objection for. Nope. Well, please, Ty, bring up being accused of being a. You cuck. said it depends on the accusation. I'm asking you to give me an example of an accusation that would move you to defend. I'm not sure. It would depend on the moment, so I'm not sure. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Have you ever heard of the term due process? I believe so. Okay, what do you think it means? <laughs> Took him a minute. Giving a person an allotted opportunity to do something or the appropriate pr process for something. Okay. If someone is accused of something horrible, would you agree that the term due process means they get to defend themselves from that accusation? Objection form. Yes. Objection okay. form. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't say it. Uh, he did. He did. Pause. Oh, did he? Yeah, pause. Sorry. <laughs> it's like it's a kick a... with that guy. It's like, object. I feel like, you know, if his wife was like, honey, can you go to the grocery store and get some grocery? Objection form. What? I, like, hope, just... I hope someone goes through and takes all of Casey Eric's low-key objection to forms and lays them to, like, the chillest beat ever and has, like, the ASMR objection to form beat, uh, like, I don't know, EDM mix or whatever, because I'm dying. Like, objection to form. Objection form. <laughs> objection form. <laughs> yeah, it's like every, it's, it's like a tick. It's amazing. I, it's, it's gotten to the point I've stopped hearing them now. Like, I missed that last one. Yeah, he said it, I mean... It's it's so many questions. It's uh it's it's getting crazy. Uh oh, there's a cuck ranger mug. I'm gonna pull up the GoFundMe. Um, I think that now's a good time. Do you want to start? Uh, you did you did a, quite a job shilling the GoFundMe last time. Well, yeah. If you like, I could do it again. 
Well, let's uh, let's see. We're at two hundred and eight thousand three hundred and thirty-two uh, of three hundred thousand dollars, guys. And uh, thank you, of course, for the generous support. But I will turn over a brief shill uh, to to Cody. To Cody, uh, go All for right. it, man. Okay, well, folks, now I'm sure there's folks out there watching this stream right now. Maybe you're not in chat. Maybe you're just watching on your phone or you're just watching the computer. You got a plane in the background. You're playing video games. Who knows? But I bet there's people out there whose Vic has touched your life because we know how he is with his fans. We know how many of his fans have been out there. They've been suicidal. He's called them up on the phone to tell them to stop, to tell them not to do it. He's talked to you when you've hadn't had to have a friend in the world. You told him you didn't have a friend in the world. And he was there for you to help you out of the brink we know i know you're out there i know you're watching the stream right now he's done so much for you he's done so much for all the other fans all the risenable rangers out there y'all know he's done so much for you now we finally have the chance to do something for him to give back to vic finally we have that chance i say we take that chance and show him with a few dollary dues how much we appreciate everything he's done. Because, folks, he's got a lot of people to suit. Look how much, how rough this is. And this is just wave one. This is the first three. We got a list of people to get through. Yep. And already, all this. We don't, we this, don't have, we, to be clear, I have to stop you because <laughs> there, there you. actually isn't a list. A there list, is no quote, quote. there is no list of people because now I have to be extra precise about this because I think everybody charitably knows what you mean. There's yeah. a bunch of stuff that Vic has to deal with uh, the out there. But but there there isn't actually some list. And so I have to stop because there's a yeah. bunch of dumb vaginas on the internet who think that there's well and a couple lawyers uh in this proceeding who but think that there's yourself. some some list that is held uh, that involves the gofundme there is there's no list but let me let me say this we're like uh, a friend analogized uh, a wise lawyer friend analogized to me where this case even is right now we're on like the second possession of a football game we're not even through the first quarter yet we're not even through the first quarter yet. This is uh, this this case has so long to go unless everybody surprises people and starts settling to, you know, uh, in the next month or so. This thing has so long to go and all of that is expensive. It really is. That's that's the ultimate reality here. We, we don't even need to really worry about second and third uh, second and third uh, waves or anything at this point. Right now, we have to worry about how much does this suit cost? Because these defendants have been so ludicrous and so butthurt about the GoFundMe specifically that they are attempting to waste the money. That's that's clearly what they're trying to do. They're trying to take the money from the GoFundMe. In fact, they appear to be, because they're stupid and don't understand how it works, they appear to be trying to literally take the money from the GoFundMe for themselves, which um, that just belies a misunderstanding of how this all this all works out. But but that's that's the reality here. And I'm, I'm sorry for interrupting. Yeah, this your, disclaimer. I know yeah. your, your lawyer got hit in that legalese. I understand. But there is a not actually existing but metaphorical list of people because. It doesn't just stop at Funimation. It doesn't stop at Monica. It doesn't stop at Ron. There's a lot of people involved in this. A lot of people, they need to answer for what they've done because if they don't, people, they're going to keep doing it. You think Chris Savitt's just going to stop because he got a little shook seeing this happen to someone else? No, he's Chris Savitt. He thinks he's the king shit. I mean, yeah, it happens to other people, but it doesn't happen to me. I'm Chris Savitt. I run this town. Does he? I don't think he does. I, I think, think he maybe... thinks so. I think he might be a little time. Chris Sabat learns there's a lot that sits above him, like, you know, due process, the motherfucking legal system, the fandom that he answers to, and he's going to have to deal with the fact that, yeah, your line's a little shorter than Vic's. You ain't that special. It's about time these people learn you can't do these little gay voice actor ops and get away with it. You don't ruin people's <laughs> careers because unlike the rest of us, you just can't stand having a coworker you don't like. You went through all this, ruined a man, 
and just turn this whole fucking industry into a shit show because you couldn't work with a guy because he likes Jesus and won't sign gay fan art. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the long and short of it. That's that, the long and short of it. You want that to continue? Because it'll continue. I know I don't want it to continue. Yeah, I don't want it to continue. So, folks, we got to hit that 300K. Because these people are trying to drain that money. These people are trying to squeeze every drop and pull every bullshit they can to drag this out and make this more and more and more and more expensive. And meanwhile, you got your Chris Sabbaths out there and your anime news networks sitting there with all their fucking problems. But, you know, at least wiping their brow off like, whew, he's probably not going to sue us. It's not realistic. Look how much money they're spending already. Look how much time it's <laughs> taking already. We're fine. I all don't right. like the idea of ANN being fine. No. Do you? No. I, I don't. But again, uh, I'm focused on this litigation. Can't make any. I don't even want people to think that there's some sort of tie in to to some follow up litigation. Um, this is really about the four people who are currently being sued. Uh, that's what was in update number five that I talked about yesterday. And uh, it, I mean, this is the first step. Uh, where where Vic and Ty decide to go after this lawsuit is, of course, up to them. And uh, and the whatever it is i mean your support is greatly greatly well, even, appreciated even if so. the people the other people it's, even if they get off even if we don't get to them we can still send a message because we can do think of it this way we could do what gamergate and comicsgate weren't able to do because you, even the change those movements were able to make at the end of the day they didn't get rid of the element that they were fighting against they didn't stop it they didn't even scare it away Last time I checked, Marvel Comics is still shilling out like all this fucking propaganda and bullshit in their comics. The Cape Comics are dead, even after Comics Gate. But we have a chance to make real change, make a real difference, and really help stick it to these people. And say, we will not tolerate you pulling this bullshit on our hobby. Get the fuck out of our hobby. We can do that. <laughs> And pay Vic back for everything that he's done for us all in one fell swoop. And folks, all it takes is a couple bucks. I'm sure you got a couple bucks. You got two bucks. You bought a pizza. You got two bucks spent left over. What are you going to do with that two bucks? All right. You can do something great with that two bucks. Throw it in that GoFundMe. You can. You can. Now, uh, let's hit a couple super chats and then get right back into it. Because uh, right. we got we to gotta keep moving through this. Intimidator0108 says, Hey, Nick, just finishing up packing for Anime Iowa this weekend. My friends and I leave tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. I'll be dressing as John Cena with a funny sign I made. Stone Cold Steve Austin with my replica belt. And Adam Taurus Ruby. Uh, thanks, buddy. Solo Beverly says, Hi, Cody. Welcome back to the stream. Top five anime fights. Top five, if they're quick. Are they quick? I think Cody died. What happened? Uh, top five anime fights, if you have quick uh, ones. Too hard. Okay, I, we'll we'll move on. Andy M yeah. says, hey, Cody, you think Nick should take a shot of Fireball for being late? I don't have Fireball on, on hand. We were, what are you talking about? We were both late. I can't I can't say bad things if, about <laughs> him being late. We were both late. So There was a miscommunication in the delivery yeah. of the Hangouts link. Stooge <laughs> uh, Muffin Stuffin says, I don't normally eat popcorn, but today I'll make an exception. I specifically get the sweet and salty kettle just for this occasion. Stephen Avery says, uh, what's your take on the president losing his appeal, RE Twitter? Does that not mean that Twitter now must not ban users because Twitter is a public forum? President tweeting apparently creates a public forum. I think it's an interesting argument, and that's uh, several years away several we've got a supreme court case uh to to over to probably hear the appeals case and then you'll have to have another case to go through uh, a couple years before we actually get resolution billy the kid lawrence says not i've been accused of things i didn't do i've been accused of things they can't prove he's toast according to akiva cohen on twitter why are these dummies and shane convinced vic will lose when you always school them i don't know i don't know because here's the thing they still have to prove the accusations or else they're defamatory. Repeating the accusation is defamatory. And the interest, again, the interesting part of their argument is they're overlooking the fact that allegedly these, these accusations have been around for over a decade and yet none of them did damage until the current crop of defamers spoke up. I mean, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Uh, I think these. I think most of these super lawyers are in their sunk cost fallacy, and they're married to their initial positions. And uh, it'll be interesting. Maybe they're right. 
Super Ryan Mercado says, uh, it would be funny if Cohen got docs. Oh, wait, it happened. Maybe he shouldn't be talking smack on Twitter like he knows everything. Uh, truth be told, I I don't like seeing uh, him doxed. Um, but that's what you asked for. I mean, that's what you asked for. You came out and accused a bunch of people of being terrible, and then they did what you wanted them to do. Be terrible. Well, there you go. Uh crazy tv slash ai says cody is an over actor lowers the value of the broadcast the overall viewing experience and if the chat agrees give me a capital f u while i turn off his volume Ooh, brutal uh, yeah, there's always gonna be people that don't like me especially after i chat on everybody they do like so. <laughs> <laughs> perception check says he is terrified talking about toy i imagine mm-hmm. and then uh hayami says hey nick first super chat here don't know if you like beer but as a fellow alcohol connoisseur i have to recommend the british import old speckled hen poured in a uh spiegelu india pale ale beer glass uh, i'm not a beer fan i'm not it's the hops it's the hops that i don't like i've i've figured that out in my life that i don't like hops uh that's because i'm white i don't have hops um all right let's get back to this uh 17 minutes 56 seconds you ready yep all right three two one go the person um, let me let me let me clarify that a person accused of say pedophilia let's just use that as an example should they be allowed to question those who accuse them good for them I don't think a person who's accused of hurting a child should question that child, so no. Pedophilia is abusing a child, if I'm not mistaken, correct? Right, but what if the accuser is not a child? What if the accuser is an adult who says, I saw him molest a child? Should the accused be allowed to question the person that said, I saw him abuse a child? Objection four. If they follow what you said the due process is, correct? No, no, I, I'm simply asking if you think, is your personal opinion, mm-hmm. do you think someone accused of pedophilia by a third party mm-hmm. should be allowed to question the person who accuses him? Objection for With due process. Well, what does that mean exactly? With the correct and appropriate way to question a person who accused you of something. What do you think the correct and appropriate way is? With respect respect. If I say that accuser is, let's say that you're accused of being a pedophile mm-hmm. and you say that's a lie, mm-hmm. is that respectful? Objection form. Ha- the by, your definition, you by, by your definition, by your definition, sure. In that tone? No, I write it out. I write, that's a lie. Objection form. No. That's not respectful? What forum? <laughs> I tweeted it out. Are you? I'm sorry. In the hypothetical, you tweeted out. Right. You yes. tweet out that accusation is a lie. Yes. Is that a respectful response? Yes. That's a, that is respectful. Can you think of an example of a re, of a response that wouldn't be respectful? Objection four. Yes. What would that be? I would say one that calls for harassment of the person or intimidating. Uh, maybe also da- trying to damage their uh, the other person's reputation in a way. Okay, pause. We know we know what it is, right? We know what it is. It's we will be in touch. That's what it is. You giant baby. We will be. It got to be respectful. We will be in touch. Ah! I'm being beaten and harassed by a mean lawyer. We know what the answer is. You liar. Oh my god. Death punch. Uh, 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 he doesn't have a consistent point. It's it's I it, one minute it's I don't, know, I don't know I can't I'm not even gonna try to follow this fucking manless logic. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. I just I just wanted to, that we will be in touch is clearly too far. That's a bridge too far. That's just not <laughs> respectful. All right, uh, twenty minutes eleven seconds. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Can you give me an example of harassment? Yes. Um, yes. Let's say you. this person should be beaten within an inch of their life. <laughs> the accuser. Correct. Good. Okay. Um, Another example? Sure. It's um, going to be okay, Nick. This person <laughs> better be wear okay. a bulletproof vest to their next convention would be one. Okay. Pause. Pause. 
pause. Mm -hmm. That guy was not threatening them. He's like, you guys need to be careful because if you keep this up, you might have to end up this way because people are crazy is what he was. Warning. That guy was not threatening you. Look at that stupid face. That's an excellent pause. Uh, <laughs> that guy oh. was not threatening you. That guy might even be on your side, you weirdo. But he's saying you got to calm down. The same stuff you're saying, by the way, which is that uh, that people on the Internet are, are getting too wound up and it's too heated. He, the same thing you said in your email to the Risen Bull Rangers. But uh, all of that, all of that is, was this guy saying, you know what, you guys got to calm down or else voice actors are going to have to start going to these uh, conventions in vests. Uh, you already have security all over the place for the very reason that that guy's talking about. He's not threatening you, Ron. He's not threatening you. Actually, I'm pretty sure no one has threatened you. Because I read Monica's death threat and I'm pretty sure she just misunderstood that one too. Hmm. Well, I mean, these are people that think you know it's it's sexual harassment to to make a dad joke with a jelly bean. So, yeah, their their, their word, word comprehension isn't the best. No, no, not sending their best. All right, uh, twenty minutes forty two seconds. Three, right. two, one, go. How about this person is making this up? I didn't do it, and he's a liar. Is that respectful? Objection form. That is respectful. Okay. What if he says it respectful. in the video in the tone that I just said it? Objection is that form. respectful? Objection form. Can you repeat your question? Sure. Uh, what about he stole that person is a liar. I didn't do it. And he is making it up in, in that tone that I just sure. described. Yeah. Is that respectful? Seems decent. Seems decent. Not an attack. That doesn't sound like an attack. Okay, okay. So if I understand what you're saying, and again, I don't want to put words in your mouth, you're saying that merely disagreeing is not harassment or an attack. I know, I know, rephrase it. That, that, sorry, I am, I am putting words in your mouth. Let me not do that. Disagreement. Uh -huh. Is disagreement harassment? Depends. Okay. Yes. Uh. <laughs> So he's Let's saying say that it you can say be. I think Donald Trump's wonderful, and I say I disagree. Mm -hmm. Is that harassment? Objection for If that's the only thing you say to me, yep. no. I say I really disagree. Is that harassment? Objection for No. I say, you know, only an idiot would vote for Donald Trump. Is that harassment? Objection for And it's just you. For now, yeah, for now, it's just, just no. between us. No. Okay. Same set of facts, except we're doing it publicly on Twitter and thousands of people are reading the tweets. Is that harassment? Objection for Could be. Why? Objection for Depends on what the people are saying underneath it. Oh, I see. So, if I'm hearing you correctly, when I say only an idiot votes for Trump, it's harassment if somebody else then does what? Hold on. Objection form. All right. Ask, can you do that again? I don't I don't follow the question. Okay. I don't care if you follow the question, you dummy. I, before I tell him not to answer, I, I maybe want to try. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Because we're going to be doing this all day, so might as well get it out. If I heard you correctly, and again, I don't want to put words in your mouth. If I heard you correctly, you seem to say to me, that whether or not the statement only an idiot would vote for Trump as harassment depends on what third parties do. No, not necessarily. Okay, okay. Then please tell me how you think that statement could be harassment. Objection for I'm That's not sure. Question. Does that change your answer that it could be harassment? Could Nervous, be, but I'm not sure. Okay. Could be, couldn't be. This depends. Depends on what? I'm not sure. It's hypothetical. I understand. But what does it depend on? I'm not sure. Okay. It depends on how butthurt he is. <laughs> I'm just surprised that last question didn't get into objection form. <laughs> if you were accused of being a pedophile, uh -huh. and all these hypotheticals, I'm presuming that, that accusation is not true. 
Okay, okay. Let's, let's get that career. Let's presume so, that, I guess. If you were accused of being a pedophile publicly, and your company did an investigation and fired you, okay, uh -huh. should you be not allowed to make a living in your industry that you work in again? Objection form. It's not my determination or my ability to, to make that call. Would it be fair, as you define the term fair, uh -huh. would it be fair for you to be punished in such a way that you could not make a living in, in your industry that you currently work in? If the Jackson, industry didn't want on, me in that industry, on, 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 on. then yes, it's fair. Sneak it. That's fine. That's fine. Did you say objection form to nothing? No, he was, uh, pause, <laughs> sorry, pause. He was, he was, his client answered before he could levy his objection, which, uh, if, if you're in a courtroom, um, you, if you wait to levy your objection, your objection gets less and less weight. Also, they could hear it, uh, but th he's just making sure that that gets in. Uh, nothing really improper there. He's just making sure his objection okay, gets on the record. It just seems like he's saying it so often. It's like almost like he, like, yeah. like I said earlier, it's a tick. I don't even know if he knows he's saying it at this point. Yeah, I, I honestly am curious if they could just go ahead and say, uh, let's go ahead and object to form on every single question, just so I don't ev have to say it every single time. If we could stipulate to that, that would be great. Um, they need to they need to do that it because it's it's gross. Uh, OK, I'm going to read I'm going to read uh, 10 quick super chats again because I want to make sure we're keeping up on these. Bourbon Senpai says you earned it, bitch. Hey, thank you. Bohika says I never got to see Mozart compose or Van Gogh paint, but I watched little Nicky Rackets create a masterpiece with last night's stream. Bravo, sir. Bravo. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Yo Rackets this is from Gay and Still at Large. Yo Rackets, Taz in the Law Explaining Discord is in a bind. He's got to go fund me. Uh, at uh, Taz Taz zero three nines financial help. He's also on Twitter at Taz Animu. Any help is appreciated. Shout out to my man Cody. I got tequila and I am ready. Hey guys, uh, I've thank you for letting me know. I've actually already supported that GoFundMe. Um, I'll share it out later. Uh, I meant to share it earlier and, and I just forgot. Taz is the guy who was at the courthouse uh, and and came on my show to report on his what he observed at the courthouse at that first hearing. So you guys have probably seen him, um, but consider uh, helping him out. He's, he's got some financial issues, but uh, that's, that's of course up to you guys, up to you guys. Um, Matt the Beast says, why do you do this when I have to get up at five for work? You know what, screw it. This may be the first live show I actually watch all of and not just hit it up the next day. Unless you go past two, 2 a.m. is my limit right now. Keep doing what you do, cheers. Uh, we've got... Let's see. Matt the Beast says, how is he like this? How is anybody like this? I just, well, I, why, just why? I have to assume that he is actively apprenticing himself out to Shane in order to be simultaneously this uh and so proud of himself at the same time. Cheers again. Ugh. <laughs> it's a lack of testosterone. It does amazing things to a man. And it's... again, I say a man in quotes. Storm Knight MD says, my gods, are we sure that beard isn't glued on? There's no way this guy sounds like he made it through puberty. Uh, it's either that or he's a mangina because Rial has his balls and D asterisk 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 in her purse already. Storm Knight MD says, Soye has so much estrogen in his system, he must bleed for five days a month. His voice is so annoying. My cringes have cringes. I want to reach through the screen and pimp slap this B word demanding where my money at. Nick's Hex says, got a promotion today, so here's some extra shekels for orange drink for the kids and Lady Rackets' recovery fund. My company determines me to be a pedo, and I go uh, and and do the deed. Do I get to claim double jeopardy? Uh, Chris Bert, no. Chris Bertram says, hey, Nick, first ever super chat. I have a quick question. I read in the transcript in last night's stream, the deposition streams could only be released by agreement of all parties. How did we get this? Did they really agree? Uh, I, I don't know. No idea. Uh, Rick Moranis says, Bra fucking oh, sir. This is fucking gold. Uh, so there we go. That's from Rick Moranis. Um, okay, uh, let's get back to this. Let's get back to this depot. I'm at 25 right. minutes, 12 seconds. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Go. 
what if other companies did want you to work for them but were too afraid of the publicity backlash and refused to hire you? Would, do you think that would be fair? Objection four. Yes. You think that would be totally fair? Yes. He looks like he's swooning over Ty. I swear is it reasonable for someone? <laughs> I'm scratch that. Is it fair for someone to accuse you of being a pedophile when they have no actual knowledge, i.e., they didn't see it? Objection four. What's interesting about that? What you're saying? Yes or no? With pedophilia, I'm sh I'm, I'm going to make an assumption that is probably sure not are. done in public, and mm -hmm. the child didn't have a camera on them, okay. so. I don't know how hard I would dig into a, that situation. You were accused of being a pedophile. You don't think you would dig into the nature of the accusation? Mm -hmm. form. Again, because if you're asking me as a person, mm -hmm. and I know I didn't do that, no, I wouldn't dig into it. Even though, hypothetically, mm -hmm. you could lose your job and not be able to make a living in your business, you would not dig into it. Jackson for Is that what you're saying? with that person. What? What person? The person that is accusing me, or the company. Okay. Okay. This is going to kill him with a jury so hard. What if 30 people accuse you of being a pedophile, and the company just fires you and there's no investigation? Is that okay? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> Good God. You heard the man. I can't see. I know. Okay, let's shift to another thing entirely. Mm -hmm. Are there any health issues preventing you from testifying fully and truthfully in this deposition? No. Are you taking any medications that might affect your memory or your ability to testify today? No. Other than soy. Other than your attorney, did you meet with anyone to prepare for this deposition? No. Have you met with any witnesses in this case to prepare for this deposition? No. Okay. Did you review any documents to prepare for this deposition? No. Okay. Pause. Why the hell not? <laughs> he didn't have to. He just had it, man. He had his answers ready to go. He is a, he is the the boy toy. What? He what doesn't need to prep. Why would you not? Why would you not at least review some documents? Uh, sorry, that's that's all I got. Uh, oh that... man, he's like that kid in class. He's so smart. He don't have to study for the test. He just got this. All right. Uh, twenty eight oh six. Three, two. One, go. What do you do for a living, Mr. Troy? I'm a loan officer. Okay, what, what company do you work for? Mid-America Mortgage now. Okay. Are you an employee or an owner? I'm an employee. Okay. Uh, is Mid-America a, a franchisee? In other words, do they franchise with a national company? So Mid-America is the umbrella, and then there's branches within it. But I work for Mid America. Okay. Were well, you employed by the brand, by an individual branch of Mid America? It's employed by Mid America. Okay. Okay. So the branch you work for is owned and part of Mid America. Correct. Okay. I was just trying to figure that out. I went to yeah. their website and I yeah. couldn't couldn't sort that out. What's your Twitter name or handle? I'm not sure. I think. What's your Twitter handle? Excuse me. I'm not sure. I think it's Ron Toy. Or Ron Toy Three. How do you not know? Is your Twitter handle Ron Toy? That sounds right. Maybe. Okay. Do you have your phone? Also, I can't with believe you? it's actually pronounced no. Toy. Okay.
sorry, Kek, Kek in my Discord says, how the F phone, do you evidence, not know your Twitter handle? Sure. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Follow me at at something. We're gonna know. look at your phone. Mm -hmm. I, I'm gonna flash a screenshot and. All right, well then let's make it an exhibit then. You're an exhibit. We, yeah, if we're gonna ask witnesses, not the entire. Okay. Never mind. Well, I'm gonna hand you what's been marked as Exhibit 28. <laughs> Do it the hard way. Thank you. <laughs> I apologize. Oh, to oh Lord, John, this is the binder full of tweets. Sam, uh, we're getting print binders out for you guys. Okay, okay hold on, pause. That's a binder full of tweets. That's a binder full of tweets. Mitt Romney called, he needs his binder of tweets. Uh, <laughs> that's a thick binder full of tweets, guys. Here, I'll, I'll move my mouse so you can see it a little bit better when the thing it's goes like away. If, it's if, if, if Mitt Romney had a vasectomy, you'd get this guy. Oh, God. Uh, okay, sorry. I just wanted to point out that's a... It's a binder full of tweets. Okay, thirty he's minutes. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him too. Like, oh, fuck. He's gonna. <laughs> he's gonna have to sit there and look at all of his tweets, <laughs> which contradict pretty much everything he was saying. Okay, uh, thirty minutes, twenty six seconds. Mm -hmm. um, three, two, one, go. Okay. Would you flip to the very first page? Yes. Would you read the first line of text? Ron Toy at Ron Toy, Jan 23. Okay, go ahead and read, if you would, this, this entire text here. Sure. Replying to RWBY underscore fan one or 10,000 at Ken the Caden and at Mars Girl. Also, to clarify, I don't feel, nor do they feel, he hurt them, he actually hurt them. Okay, did you post that tweet? Looks like I did. I'm just asking if you did. This looks like I did. Do you remember making this tweet? I don't remember. Notice how he phrases it. Okay. But yeah. it looks like something yes. you would have sent out. Okay. Uh, what is the Twitter handle on this page? Which one? There's a few. Well, I'm sorry, uh, the first line. Ron Toy. Uh, at Ron Toy, yes. the ampers ampersand, yes. ampersand, Ron Toy. Ron Toy. Not ampersand, okay. Ty, come on. It's not an ampersand, so it's an at refresh Ty. your recollection about what your Twitter handle is? Yes. And what is it? Ron Toy. Sound a little boomery there. Ron. Just hang on to that sure. one. Sure, I appreciate it. it. Who's paying your, your legal, the legal fees that you're incurring for this case? Monica and I. Uh, is Funimation in any way directly or indirectly paying your legal expenses? No. Okay. Let's see. Do you have any other social media accounts besides Twitter? I'm not sure. You're not you have sure. A Facebook account. Yeah. Okay. And an Instagram. And Instagram. Yes, sir. Snapchat. Yes. Oh, why do you have a Snapchat? Any you weirdo. Other social media accounts you can think of. Oh God. Oh, God, I'm not sure at this time. Okay. There's so he's, many. On your Facebook he's, he's, account. He's got a lot of gamer girls to follow. Get off his back. On, about Vic, Victor Mignogna. Check so for. I can't remember if I have or haven't. Okay. Because I don't know what Instagram is, I'll ask the same question with regards to Instagram. Have you commented about Victor Mignogna on Instagram? I'm not sure. Okay. How do you know? It means he did. Have you discussed Victor Mignogna on any other electronic platforms besides Twitter? I can't remember. He has, yeah. I'm not yeah, sure. of course Do he you has. remember posting about Victor Mignogna on any platform besides Twitter? No, I can't remember. Okay. It's possible. Okay. I'm not trying to trap you. I'm just sure. trying to get I'm not the, worried about trying that. To, you know, get, get the word there. Um, Porn hub. <laughs> did you Sorry. tweet? I'm just scratch it. Okay. He probably when I say commented tweet, on Pornhub about him. I mean, did you post a tweet on your Twitter on your Twitter account at Ron Toy? Can we agree that that's what I'm referring to? 
Did you, you got ever tweet that there was an investigation being conducted by Funimation about Mr. Mignogna's alleged allegations of sexual misconduct? I'm not sure. Are you? Not sure. Mm. I'm not sure. You have no memory at of that. I'm not sure. Okay. Objection to form, though. Do you know if there was an investigation of Victor Mignogna? I know that. About, let me th I'll just finish it. I'm trying to cut you off. Yeah. About the sexual, the sexual misconduct allegations that have been made. Can you repeat your question Sure. Again? Do you know if there was an investigation by Funimation of Victor Mignogna with regards to the allegations of sexual misconduct that have come out this year? I know they spoke to Monica. The, uh, Funimation spoke Correct. to Monica. How do you pause, know? pause, pause? You liar! You liar! You liar! Um, I don't know if boiling. I don't know if you're lying now, but if you aren't lying now, you were definitely lying every freaking time you tweeted that there is an investigation. He was fired because of the investigation. Companies investigated him and found proof. That's why he was fired. There's mountains of evidence, testimony, proof. They investigated him. You liar, you liar, you liar. Oh my <laughs> God. And I, man, I just hope they play that clip right next to just like a, just a bunch of like, just like a, like a dumb YouTube video that I would do with a bunch of little <laughs> bloop, 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 little windows popping up with all of his tweets all around his stupid <laughs> smug face. Oh my God. Oh, you, you can tell he watches anime because his entire legal strategy comes from that one. Uh, don't know and have no opinion scene from Cowboy Bebop. Just everything <laughs> they say. I don't know. And I have no opinion. It's uh, I don't know. And I have no opinion. It's insane. It's insane. Did you ever post about them? I, I don't remember. What do you mean you don't remember? Of course you did the 300 something times. Don't remember. Oh my. <laughs> well, man, he, he suffers from a very serious medical condition. Don't, don't make fun of him. Okay. He has, he has Twitter Alzheimer's. It's a very specific condition where you can't remember what you tweeted immediately after you tweeted it. It's terrible. So many people. I thought he had Twitter Alzheimer's. Yeah, I guess that's what you could call it's, it. We could, we should raise, we should, we should start a fund for his Twitter Alzheimer's. <laughs> uh, okay, let me let me read a couple of these chats. Travis the Bard says, "Should I share this video on the stupid answer, or should I not to save brain cells?" Uh, feels like I'm losing IQ every time Ron answers. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh man, where did it go? Oh, stupid YouTube. I hate you. Oh, Scorpio 04, thanks for the donation. Uh, the Pie Baker. The Pie Baker says, how does someone look like a child and a child molester at the same time? <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, and sounds like both of them, too. <laughs> Kofi, Kofi 2A says, for years I thought Monica was a lesbian because of how many lesbian characters she voiced. Then I heard she had a boyfriend. Then I see her boyfriend. Now I think she's a lesbian again. <laughs> this is my first $20 <laughs> super chat, I believe. Thank you. Thank you. It was great. She has a fire tonight. Darkman McEdgeface says, Nick been trying to get a hold of you for a show. Are you free on one of the evenings of July 16th, 17th, 18th, or 19th? I don't know. I'll, I'll try and uh, find your DM and get back to you. Uh, Ellisol17 says, Cucker Toye with his Gollum-esque voice from Lord of the Rings. I'm surprised that he was not smiling uh, back to after his responses like he was doing on Twitter. Uh, keep up the good work, Nick Riccata. I think Thank his you. Twitter smileys are actually an attempt to convey all of the smug smirking that he does in person. No, he he admitted to what they were. Um, actually, I think on Facebook he laid out a post about how it's uh, he found out after taking a personality test that how he, it's how he copes with stress. He, yeah, yeah, I do remember. He, yeah, he uses this, this projection of smiley faces or whatever. It was really weird to admit it. Well, that must be why he can't stop smiling now. Yeah. Uh, Travis Abard says, objection to forum, sensual uh, uh, forum, sensual edition play that on a honeymoon or anniversary. Would it be a mood setter? <laughs> HB says, Ron's like the creepy sex offender fusion of Zach Galifianakis and Martin Shkreli, the pharma bro. Do lawyers normally objection to forum for every single question? That seems kind of desperate. Well, some lawyers use objection to form to signal to their clients something. So they'll say, hey, every time I say objection to form, take a minute before you answer and really think about that or just deny. 
Uh, they're not really supposed to do that, but how do you police it? Um, some of them will do it just to piss off opposing counsel and break up the, the deposition. And some of them genuinely are objecting to form. It's, it's kind of hard to say. Miss Meadow Kitty says, Cody, does your Nintendo Switch and TV have a high enough volume to drown out the sounds of your woman being railed out by Tyrone's BBC? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I thought we were roasting Toye, but man. <laughs> Like I said, the people are always going to not like me. You see how split the chat is whenever I come up. It's great. I'm f I'm fine with them. Used to it. You go. Oh, you're my... not like me. You're not like me. You like me. You like me. You know. Whatever. Apparently, I got my, I, I got my people. So I don't need you know. guys. I have to bring this up. One one last thing before we get back into it. I, I'm aware there's a new GoFundMe out there. Um, it's got a one dollar goal. Uh, totally. here it is. It's buy Ron Soye a jawline. Uh, it was created two minutes ago by a sweet old man in Arizona. Um, you know, I don't know if, if Ron Toye created this or not, but it's very, it's a, dude, y'all are fucking on fire tonight. <laughs> God damn. That's a serious medical condition. Oh, this uh, is a magical night. This is a magical night. Okay. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get back to this. I'm at 34 right. minutes, 57 seconds. We've got about right. six and a half minutes left in this first, uh, First, first video. video. All right, three, two, one, go. go. Because she's my fiance. She told you? Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Okay. When did she tell you about? I don't remember. A month ago? I'm not sure. I mean, what I'm asking is, was it more than a month ago? I'm not sure. Really? Okay. Look at the smirk. Oh my God, you smug, slap worthy person. Have you had any communication? He's smiley emoting in real life. Associated Hold on, with I'm gonna, uh, I miss that. Let's go back to 35 minutes, 18 seconds. All right. Ready? Mm hmm Three, two, one, go. Have you had any communication with anyone associated with Funimation about Victor Mignogna? I'm not sure. Really? Uh, huh? <laughs> <Okay>. Really? <laughs> Can you name the people? Bro, we have your texts. Well, do you know people at Funimation who work at Funimation? Besides define, Monica. Define your, what you mean by work. People who have been employed by Funimation to do anything like voice acting or an administrative capacity or any kind of business Either whether as a contractor or a, right. as an independent contractor or as a W-2 right. employee. So as a contractor, I know a few contractors okay. that work who, for them. Who all do you know? I know Monica. Okay. And a few others. Who? Please list them. Sure. Vic. Chris. Chris who? Sabat. Okay. Ian. Ian who? Sinclair. Please Dean give me the Claire. last name if you sure. would. Sure. Jamie Markey. You can do it. Those are the people that I know. That's it. Those are the only people who are associated with Funimation that you know. Well, I, Is it, I, that's a question, sorry. Right. No, I, know there, I know of other people. But are you t saying no in a friend capacity or? Sure. I mean, you know. Yeah, sure. There. People that people that you have talked to. I mean. Oh, talk to. Yeah. Yeah. You can limit it to that. Sure. Pause. Um, pause. Considering he listed Vic, and I mean, him saying he knows Vic is like uh, it's like passing someone on a highway and saying you've met them. Like that's. I the, know you better than he knows Vic. Oh yeah, we've spent way yeah. more time talking than that guy has talked to Vic. Like yeah. an absolutely, it, it wouldn't even be comparable. And that's just if we take the time spoken on this stream, it's more than he's ever spoken with Vic. Like it's crazy, crazy uh, for him to suggest that he knows Vic. Well, I've talked to other people. <laughs> well, yeah, Ron. <sighs> okay, sorry. Um, oh, what you got? This guy's so full of shit, you could call him the colon. Holy shit. <laughs> 37 minutes, 5 seconds. 3, 2, 1, go. Mm, let's think. Mike McFarland. 
Colleen Clinkenbeard. Hold on, McFarlane, L-A-N-E. Don't know, okay. <laughs> Colleen Clinkenbeard, is that with a C? I would Don't wing know. it, I have no idea. Okay, fair enough. Who else? That's that I, I can think of right now. Okay. Have you, dis have you had any conversations with Chris Sabat about Victor Mignogna? Yes. Okay. What did you say in those conversations? I can't remember. Did they discuss Mr. Mignogna in a positive way? I can't remember. Really? Did Mr. Sabat say anything about Mr. Mignogna? I can't remember. Hmm. I don't know and I have no opinion. So where did you uh, form the basis of your opinion, Ron? Have you had any conversations with Ian Sinclair about Victor Mignogna? Yes. What did you say in those conversations? I can't remember. Okay. Can, what did Mr. Sinclair say about Mr. Mignogna? Can't remember. Okay. Did you have any conversations with Jamie Marchi about Victor Mignogna? Yes. And yes. what did you say? Yes. I cannot remember everything. Well, tell me some of the things you can remember if you can remember anything. Vic's name. I can't remember his own Twitter handle. Vic's name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In any of these conversations with Sinclair Marchi, do you recall if the conversations were, were positive about Mr. Mignogna? In other words, did you say nice things about him? I can't remember. Okay. And you can't remember what they said in response. Right. Okay. Mr. McFarlane, did you discuss Mr. Mignogna with him? I cannot remember. Okay. Okay, pause. Uh, this is important. Um, if you're not picking up on why Ty is asking, uh, why, what, what may have been said or what even the nature of the conversation was, Toye is sitting here not remembering what he said between any, anybody, anybody involved in Funimation and Vic Mignogna. So when Toye says that he's formed an opinion about how much the industry doesn't want Vic Mignogna, how can he actually do that? He doesn't remember what the nature of any conversations that he's had with apparently anybody ever was. Not even to the basic point of were they positive or negative conversations. He doesn't know. He doesn't remember. How will he, how will he testify that, well, he knows that people in the industry have this opinion about him. You can't. He can't know it because he can't remember what they talked about. So then he's going to have to fall back on uh, anonymous internet blogs like Pretty Ugly Little Liars. He's going to have to fall back on uh, news reports like ANN, which has a huge credibility problem, as, of course, uh, we can we can show through their own history that they had to change that story, I think, something like five times now. Uh, he's going to run into credibility problems because he's going to uh, be relying on Polygon articles. And all of these articles actually came out after Vic was let go from Funimation. These articles came out on the 29th uh, or something, or I think the 29th or the 30th, and Vic was let go on like the 28th or something like that. Somewhere in that timeline, he's going to be relying on these articles uh, that came out after he was already engaged in defaming Vic and already engaged in discussions about this investigation. This is why... Uh, this is why Ty is following up with every one of these people. Let's eliminate anybody who could have gone ahead and said something negative that he could then say, well, look, this person at Funimation, or I heard from someone at Funimation that uh, this thing was going on and that people didn't like him and that there were these rumors going back. He's not going to be able to fall back on them. So he's just eliminating some of the potential people that are involved in this with these questions. And Ron is not... Uh, not uh, I mean, he could have said, yeah, I believe there was a negative. If I remember right, there was some negative connotation to the to the conversation. He could have insulated himself that way. And then he could have said that because here's the here's the riddle. Here's the riddle, right? Not the riddle. Here's the gotcha. Ron knows that some of those conversations were negative. He knows it in his mind. He knows that he's had negative conversations with people about Vic. 
Of course he has. He's not even being asked when those conversations were. They could have been after all this. And had he just simply said, you know what? Uh, I do remember having a conversation with Chris Sabat, and there was some negative talk about Vic and his, his reputation. Okay, that doesn't implicate Sabat in any real way. It doesn't implicate Ron in any real way, but it does insulate him from uh, where he can now say, look, I formed my opinion about Vic uh, based on some of the negative things I heard about him from people inside the industry. Can't do that if you don't remember anything about the conversations. Well, so. he's trying to, we can we gather anytime he says, I don't remember, that's something damning. And we, at any single time he says, I don't remember, it means yes, basically. It's something damning that he doesn't want to say. So he's falling back on, well, I just don't remember. Like, and and I guarantee you, because this this guy always comes off to me like he wants to be in on this boys club. You know what I mean? He wants in on that anime industry club that, that his, his, the woman that he's too much of a pussy to marry uh is in on he wants to be part of that too so he's worried if i if i implicate them oh they might get mad at me so i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna cover their asses too oh i don't remember if they said anything negative i don't know i don't remember what we said now so remember he do that but they would probably be mad at him for saying why did you throw me under the bus and he don't want he don't want to be mad and want to be mad at him you know what's interesting uh ron mentioned to kamea Khan that there was a funimation employee uh, I believe, who was part of the investigation that uh, he was close personal friends with that would be coming forward. Now, I don't know if he listed that person in his list. Because, I mean, I don't think it was Colleen Clinkenbeard. I, he had listed Monica and Jamie. Marky's not listed in that investigation from Dembo, according to her affidavit. Now, there was an alleged forcible kiss that I believe Vic said was a consensual kiss that occurred at Funimation. I'm left to deduce that Ron knows that person. Didn't list her name here, but he sure was happy to say that his friend from Kamea, or his friend was coming forward during the Kamehacon text, right? Does everybody else remember that? I mean, I do. I do. Uh, Very interesting that that person isn't listed. I guess he doesn't recall having a conversation with that person, even though he seems to have recalled that conversation in his Kamea contacts. But what do I know? What do I know? Uh, all right, sorry. 39 minutes, 15 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Uh, can, can you remember if you characterized him in a positive way in that conversation? No. Okay, I don't can remember you remember if Mr. Him. I'm sorry. I don't remember talking to him about Vic at all. Okay, okay. Okay, just to be clear, you are saying that you did talk to Sabbath Sinclair and Marty. You just don't remember the contents of the conversation. Correct. He's come up in conversation. Sure. But McFarland, you don't remember ever having a conversation with him. Okay. Uh, Colleen Clinkenbeard, have you had any conversations with her about Victor Mignogna? He's come up in conversation. Okay. Do you recall what you said? No. You recall what she said? No. Okay. Depots are boring. <laughs> it's so much dead air. So much Tonka. With any of the people I just mentioned, Christopher Sabat, Ian Sinclair, Jamie Marchi, Mike McFarlane, Colin Clinkenbeard, have you sent or received text messages from them regarding Vic Mignogna or this case? I can't remember. Did you turn any t- such any text messages over to your attorney? I can't remember, but I know I've given him everything. That okay. they've asked for. You have any idea if your attorney produced those to us? Nope. Okay, fair enough. Did you exchange emails with any of these people, Sabat, Sinclair, Marchie, McFarlane, and Clinkenbeard? Not that I. I I'm sorry, I, I didn't finish the question, it was my fault. Regarding Victor Mignana or this case? Not that I can remember. Okay. Did um, you give your virginity to your attorney? Were you, uh, <laughs> Objection form. <laughs> if you had, you would have turned those over to your attorney. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. I haven't heard him in a while. I miss him. Yeah. He got bored. <laughs> you get the point. Objection to form. <laughs> oh, I forgot to say. Sure. If you need a break, you can call. You can ask for it. Just you have to answer the question. But 
after that you can call mm -hmm. it. I am going to call a break though for five minutes, if that's okay. Sure. And we're going off the record at 10 So I guess we could just stop it here. Yeah. Yeah, that's the uh that's the end of the And we're going on the Whoa, God. <laughs> Sorry. Oh god, look at that face. Oh, <laughs> they said the Covington kid had a punchable face. That had a punch in face. On this guy. Where is I? Where is it? I'm um, sure I downloaded the second video. I'm trying to find it. Where okay. It? Yeah, we'll we'll start. I might have to take a, a bathroom break. I might have to take a bathroom break too. That's. So we'll we'll see. Let me do. Do you want to go? I'll do. Go. I'll run through some super chats if you want to go. And yeah, then... and then and then uh, you can just leave the people alone with me, and the half of the chat that hates me can freak the <laughs> fuck out. It'll be great. Half be may be generous. <laughs> <laughs> uh all right just a second let's i'll, I'll do some uh chats here while we wait um uh let's see matt the beast says no person who called him a weasel do not change the comparison uh weasels are amazing little killing machines and although i understand the accusation of sleaziness i will not have adorable murder slinkies associated further to this sniveling rodent uh shark week says i'm pretty sure the whole reason why they're going after the gofundme is because they thought if vic was going to sue them he would bankrupt himself doing so and they thought funimation would be their lawyers that's not happening uh goober gabber says i don't know what's bigger ron's soy levels or the surface of his forehead in square kilometers i couldn't stop wheezing for the first five minutes of the depot video especially after cody's neck and face statement that is an accurate assessment. Insert clever name here. Says he's not a damaged squirrel. He's a damaged weasel. My head hurts from listening to his sanctimonious attitude. I just can't even. Zare the Hedgehog says, I can't believe this guy is genuinely saying what he's saying. I don't know whether to be amazed or ashamed he's continuing this ludicrous mindset. I don't know why this Jimmy Neutron forehead looking butt is even smiling. Me either. Andy M says, I see why he uses smiley's emoji so much because he does it in person. My favorite is the... The blinks. The blinks. Uh, there's no reason he should be smiling this much. He's like a kid caught with his hand in the cookie jar. Mike is contentious, says Ron Soye is like a kid that waited until the last day to do hand in, to hand in a class project. Then when he gets in front of the class, he tells himself, it's okay, I'm going to just wing it, it'll be fine. Plot twist, he's an idiot. Uh, insert clever name here, says, liar, you're not a person, soy boy. And Blaine20 says, Ty has the patience of Job. Job, so uh, solid uh, Bible reference there. Uh, I'm going to pull up this next video. Oh, Okay, we've got uh, we've got this one is this one has some names redacted. Um, okay, I'm gonna put the GoFundMe up on screen just mm -hmm. to remind people that it's there. I'm gonna run to the bathroom. I'll be back in like one minute because I only I lick my hands clean now instead of washing them. So I'll be right back. <laughs> well, it's just you and me, everybody. Hi, stream. How you doing? Look, I know that some of you don't like me, and that's fine. That's fine. I'm fine with that, but I think we can still get along. I don't dislike you. You seem like a nice group of people. I don't know. I'm not really looking at the chat right now. I'm just kind of talking to the empty screen, looking at Vic's Rolly figure up there. That's a pretty cool figure. I wonder how much that costs. Cool Robotech figure there, too. Republic Whiskey. I like the Texas-shaped bottle. I like gimmicky bottle shapes like that. I'm just that kind of dork. And the little wooden grail. Mortal Kombat 2 machine, though, is definitely the best thing there. I'm, I'm jealous. I'm deeply jealous of the Mortal Kombat 2 machine. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, some of you folks chat on me for uh, rambling for like an hour. And yeah, yeah, that was bullshit. I shouldn't have done that. Next time I'll, uh, I don't know, not do that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I could do beforehand to not do that this is cody filling in dead air asmr but yeah that was bullshit you were absolutely right that was embarrassing that's why i wanted to come back at some point at least just to make up for it oh nick's back hooray that was a quick pee i hear his doors so he should be back on screen right about now there he is all right is. hold on now guys look at this this is why I sit this way and, and look at my screen over here and not have things on my screen over here. Because if I sit over here, 
I look like a fascist lesbian. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. Uh, up there. Uh, yeah, it looks like only this way. It's just the it's just my Nazi haircut that I got. <laughs> um, okay, so we've got uh, we've got some progress on the the GoFundMe. Thank you all for for your continued support of Vic, and uh, we'll be we'll be shilling this thing as the week progresses. So uh, you know that's that's how that's gonna go. Um, do you have video two pulled up, Cody? Uh, I'm actually still I still trying to find it. I downloaded it. And I'm not How do you not my... know where you downloaded not... it? I know I downloaded it, and it's not in my downloads folder. Let me look. Let me check. Just uh... do a Windows search for Ron Video Two. Oh, because it's a it's a different format. So yeah, it's, it's an it's stupid. it's an MPEG, oh, not yep, an MP4. There it is. Oh, redacting. Yep, found it. Okay, let me know when you got it ready. Uh, I got it ready. Yep. Okay, uh, guys, I'm gonna warn you. Um, we are most likely not not going to uh finish this video this is another hour that last one was 41 minutes but but this and the rest of the deposition is still coming there will be more more ron toye deposition videos uh as we as we progress but we're gonna see how far we get through this one tonight um let's uh let's get it going if you're ready let's get uh, the beat three two one go what's your yeah. oh, I'm sorry. Oh, we're sorry, back on sorry. the record uh, for the beginning of disc number two the time is 1027 mr toy what's your yeah. education yeah. Fact, could you describe your education for us yes yes i went to uh my i went to school post high school if any sure i went to uh, <laughs> dallas baptist university sorry pause i uh what's your education background well, i i went to school we know. He, he doesn't reveal with an all-girls school. Is is there is there is there a miraculous and benevolent God? Is there one? D does anybody have access to Toye's Twitter? And has he ever, in his history, mentioned bringing a snack tray to someone, like to a party or something? <laughs> God, that would be oh, that would be so funny. I wish I could. Just layer that tweet over Drexel's voice talking about talking about cucks bringing snacks. <laughs> Ugh. Sorry. Okay. I just had uh, to get through that. We're yeah, at 20, that was, that was 26 seconds. Three, yeah. two, one, go. Okay. Uh, did you get a degree from um, I didn't those? finish my four year close, okay. but didn't finish. Close. Any other any degrees or anything like list. that? Can't that you, believe have, you have you. Scratch that. Yeah. Have you attained any other degrees? No. Okay. Okay. Have you ever been arrested or convicted of a crime? Yes, I've been arrested before. What for? Um, when I was younger, I wrote a check that bounced that I had no idea about, and they picked me up on some like thing where you write a check, and I paid for it and got it covered. Pause. Pause. The similarities to Cuckbag Holmberg are shocking. <laughs> <laughs> Shocking. No wonder. No wonder. Sorry. That's I it. I, I might have to feed Ron some shoes. That might be the uh the preferred meal of this type of species. Holy shit. Uh I've got I'm at exactly one minute. Oh, uh, like a minute, three seconds, huh? Okay, so give me give me a three second lead when I go three, two, yeah. one, go. Okay. Other than traffic offenses though, nothing else. No. Okay. Have you engaged in any other prior lawsuits? Yes. Okay. Describe them, please. Um, it was a, a few years ago, so I don't know the, all the details, but an apartment that we lived in had black mold, and we sued them. Racist. Okay. <laughs> How long ago? I can't remember the exact date. Four years, five okay. years, four to five years. Okay. What was the resolution of that case? Um, they gave us a big check. Y'all settle? Yes, they oh, settled with us. They settled, okay. Hey, there's the answer to that. Um, well, yeah, there's nothing to have hide. Have you been married before? Yes. Okay. And are you divorced? Yes. Okay. When was the divorce? I can't remember the exact date, but... Approximately? Six, seven years ago. Do you have any history of drug or alcohol no. abuse? Okay. Are you a smoker? No. 
What about smoking poles? No, that's Monica. Oh, oh God. That's a watch. I didn't write that down. Mid America Mortgage. Mid America Mortgage, okay. How long have you worked there? Just started about a week and a half ago. Maybe two. Where did you work before Mid America Mortgage? Fairway Mortgage. What did you do for them? Sure, I was a loan officer and operations manager. Were you an owner of uh, a Fairway Mortgage? Not at all. Okay. What does a loan officer do? He instructs clients on purchasing a, a residential mortgage, okay. or get, obtaining a residential mortgage. Okay, um, and what was the other thing that you said you did? Operations manager. What does an ops manage, uh, operations manager do? Make sure the loan's close. How long did you work at Fairway Mortgage? Around three years. Wait, can, can I can I call a pause here? Of course. Did he did he just say? Did I just miss it? He got a new job a week and a half ago. He did. So I wonder what happened to his old job. I don't know. I'm really kind of curious about what what happened to that old job. Yeah, so that something happened there. I hope no one called and said he was a pedophile. That would be terrible. Well, it would be. Uh, I hope you know, like, uh, you know, I hope. What was it Fairway? And the Tuttle Group weren't uh, potential targets in a lawsuit because one of their uh, apparent agents with apparent authority reached out to Kamehakan offering a sponsorship that he maybe wasn't authorized to make with the intent of getting a voice actor removed from said convention. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's what happened, but maybe that not. That would be unfortunate. Wouldn't I it be weird don't. if he had used company property to send tweets and emails uh, and, and held himself out as a representative of said company to do that? I mean... That'd be strange. Mm. But I'm sure if he did, he doesn't remember. Probably not. He doesn't <laughs> even remember making tweets and uh, emails and, and anything like that. How would he remember or, where, where, where he was handle. when he sent them? Yeah. <laughs> Surprised he remembered his employer's name. Yeah. I mean, he can't even remember talking to anybody or any conversations he's had with anybody that he knows. It's a terrible life this man leads. Having the memory of a goldfish. I can't believe he uh, left Tuttle. He just he le he left Tuttle high and dry. He could have he could have said Tuttle's name and he didn't want to do it. <laughs> no love for Andy. Andy, his identical twin. Uh, all right, sorry. Three minutes forty five <laughs> seconds is where I am. All right. All right. All right. Three, yeah. two, one, go. Are you a religious man? Yes. <laughs> okay. What denomination? Christian. Any particular domination of Christianity? Uh, I would say non-denominational. Okay. So no. Rocking back and forth like a scared autistic child now. Do your religious beliefs? Yeah. Have an opinion. Scratch that. Do your personal religious beliefs? have anything to say about telling lies. <laughs> what does it say? It's not good. Not good. It would be fair to say they say don't That's do how that. it's written in scripture. It's not a good it's idea. Good. Pause. Pause. Uh, I, I challenge you to find thou shalt not lie in the Bible. That's just my Bible. My Bible trivia. Find thou shalt not lie or is it thou shalt not bear false witness? Very different things, by the way. So he's wrong and lying about the Bible. What a liar. Burn him. Burn him <laughs> at the cross in Minecraft. All right. Sorry. That was just my look. four minutes and 40 seconds. Three, two, one, go. The attempt to follow those rules? For the most part, I do my best. Okay.
His mannerisms look like he prefaces everything with oh okay. honey. Let's go to exhibit 28. Sure. All right. Is there tabs or a table of index or anything, nope. or just no, flip until I see 28? Page. No, no, it's it's the actual binder itself. Oh, that's exhibit 28. Cool. That's all of it. <laughs> cool. Council, we can do this one of two ways. We can do it fast, yep. which I'll ask Mr. Toy to simply leaf through it and tell me which tweets he doesn't remember sending, or we can walk through them one at a time. Well, I mean, we probably have to walk through them. Okay. Yeah, I just I. I think we'd just be adding a step to have him go through it and then have you ask about him individually, so. Okay, well, let's get to it then. Yeah, I, I mean, I wish there was a shortcut. I don't think. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's right. fine. I'm not, no, that's fine. I'd... Look at page one, please. Yes, sir. We just looked at that a moment ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, as I recall, you said you don't remember sending this tweet? Correct. Okay. Would it be consistent with your personality to have sent this tweet? Strictly an opinion. Objection form. Could be. <laughs> Could be. All right. Let's look at page two. Uh, what's the date of that tweet on page two? January 24th. Okay. Uh, would you read that tweet, please? Sure. They no, no, no. I'm just, just read it over and um, when you're done, tell me. I'm done. Okay. Do you recall posting this tweet? Making I, this tweet, sorry. I don't recall, but I see it here. Okay. Read the first line. Ron. Uh, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Read the first line of text after the header. Okay. The third line on the tweet. Perfect. They are not false. Four people very close to me have been assaulted by him. Any idea who him is? Yes, Victor Mignogna. Okay. Is your memory beginning to clear? Do you remember now making this tweet? I don't remember making the tweet, but I know exactly who I was speaking about right okay. there. Okay. How do you know that if you don't remember making it? Well, how do you define the word assaulted? Sure. Um, sure. Any action verbally, physically, emotionally that asserts themselves in a way that offends or hurts another person. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything, and again, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to understand the contours mm -hmm. of, of what you're saying. Are you saying that anything that offends someone is an assault? If the person felt it was an assault, yes. Okay, totally up to the person who heard the statement in this hypothetical objection form could be. Well, let me let me let me let me, let me, let me scratch that. I, I think I can make it clear. Um, among the the types of activities that you defined as an assault were um, statements, correct? Could be. Okay. So, are you saying that any statement that offends someone is an assault? No, objection I didn't form. say that. Okay. Okay. Yes, you what, did. What is necessary for a statement to be an assault? I'm not sure. He doesn't know what an assault. He, pause, sorry, pause. He, uh, look, any, any, any statement or act or, or verbal or physical th thing that makes a person uh, feel offended, that's an assault. So any statement where the person's offended is an assault? No. Well, what makes it an assault? I, I don't know. <laughs> what? 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 Bruh, what? What is happening here? Look, it's an assault if it makes him feel bad. That's what an assault is. Yeah. Also, can I just say he sounds like gay Milton? <laughs> like Milton from Office Space? If Milton yeah. is flamingly gay, like, can I just please have my stapler, honey? Please? <laughs> Yeah, I do. My, my, my assault, please. I need my, my assault, please. Uh, okay, I'm at eight minutes, 53 seconds. All right, yeah, it's about where I'm at. Three, two, one, go. Read the, on this, this tweet, read, sure. the, read line, well, it's the fourth line total. Sure. 
didn't know this until a few days ago, or things would have been much. Next. Sure. Different in L.A. You have any idea what this sentence means? Yes. What does it mean? It means things would have been different in L.A. <laughs> oh, just <laughs> jump up. I'm not sure. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh number three, God. page three. Yes, sir. Did you post the tweet on this page? Looks like I did. Didn't ask if it looked like you did. Do you remember <laughs> if you... I do not remember. Okay. Okay. This is so tragic. A man with Twitter Alzheimer's at this advanced stage. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Please read the sentence start. Read the whole thing starting with I can't speak. I can't speak to all accounts of people who have come forward with their personal experiences with Vic, but I know with 100% certainty that he assaulted four people I love. I'm sorry to all the people he has hurt, and I stand with the victims. Okay. You said you don't remember if you sent this tweet. Correct. Do you believe that Vic Mignogna assaulted four people that you love? Yes, I do. Okay, who are they? Yeah, with this, uh, I mean, it, we can't, this would be under the confidentiality agreement from yesterday of those four individuals. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. sure. Well, so, I mean, other than parties, yeah. obviously, but. Right, other than the parties, yeah. Um, yeah. correct. No, that's fine. So, we'll do the same thing as we did yesterday, that the, the names will be uh, confidential redacted. Yeah. Pause, pause, you lying sack of shit, Casey. You didn't redact any names except one. You didn't redact any names from Vic's deposition. Or maybe it was a Lemoyne. Was it Lemoyne who did that? I went and redacted some of the names that I caught. I missed some others because there's a bunch in there. But uh, yeah, what happened to that? What happened to that, Kathy? Sorry, <laughs> that just pisses me off. Uh, that just really pisses me off. Um, 11 minutes. 11 right. minutes and two seconds. Sorry. Okay. Three, two, one, go. I think, I think the deal was we agreed that we would redact anything if we... Well, they're, they're confidential, so, so yeah. for the purposes of his answer, we'll go ahead, but at this point, these names, yeah. if they're not parties, already... You know, we'll redact them according to our uh, prior agreement. Okay, who are they? The four people that he, you think he assaulted? M I believe that he assaulted Monica Rial. Okay. Slow down because I'm writing here very slow. Oh, it's a reservoir broads. How do you know that he assaulted Monica Real? She told me. Okay. She told Describe me. the assault that he conducted on her. Um, what Victor Mignana had, uh, how he assaulted Monica was he invited her up to his room. He then cornered her. Cornered. Grabbed her, kissed grabbed her, her kissed threw her on a bed. Threw her. No one. Kiss her, and thankfully, somebody stopped it by interrupt by knocking on the door. Pause. Twelve minutes, twenty-five seconds. Objection. No one threw her anywhere. No one threw her anywhere except the anchor man of the Titanic. Maybe threw her somewhere, but no one else is hoisting <laughs> that thing and launching it. Any Vic. Vic has some good arms, but Vic is also not very tall. We're not talking about a massive guy here. Th there is no way on earth I believe that story. I think not they're a... getting into some kind of shared Vic fanfic going on. And them, them and uh, the pole girls are swapping stories, swapping dream journals. Well, and Emmett, Emmett Initiative, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> His balls were on my neck. <laughs> uh, all right. Sorry. 12 minutes, 25 seconds. Mm -hmm. Three, two one go do you know who that somebody was i can't remember the name okay yeah that's fine 
Um, I can't wait till that you somebody there talks. to witness any of this, right? <laughs> I was not there. Okay. How long ago did this occur? I'm not sure. It didn't happen to me. Well, how long ago did Monica say it occurred? I think she mentioned 2007. 2007, okay. When did she tell you about this assault? <sighs> like a couple days before the 24th. Of January? Mm hmm Okay. How long have y'all been dating? Oh, gosh. Nearly five years. <laughs> oh! Whew! And in that five years, bef approximately before January 24th, she never one time mentioned that he assaulted her? She did not. Wow. Have you personally met Vic Vignano? Yes, I have. What was the first place you met him? It was at a convention. I can't remember. If, I think it was one in Florida. Okay. About how long ago was that? I'm not sure. Two, three years Several ago. Several years, maybe? Two, yeah. Sure. Maybe one year, two years, somewhere okay. there. A while back? Correct. Okay. Um, how, many, how many times have you interacted with him socially? And what I mean by that is anything more than just, hey, how you doing, kind of stuff. A few times. Mm -hmm. More than two? I'm not sure. <laughs> more than no. five? Could be, I'm not sure. More than ten? I'm not sure. More than okay, one? I understand what a few not sure. kind of means. Give me a range at least. I'm not sure. I, a couple, okay. a bunch, I'm not sure. A okay. couple, a bunch, a few? Um, how I don't do you know. know what things mean. Well, I don't know. Back up. Describe the assault on the, the purported assault. I'm, I'm going to ask. The purported assault on occurred while they were together. Is that mm -hmm. correct? That's correct. Okay, describe that, please. Sure. Um, again, he invited them up to their room. He began to speak to them about um, asking them, uh, told them that he brought them up there because he didn't want to go to a strip show with their friends. And then he said, I'd rather see you two strip. He then, they, he then said, or I can't remember the exact part, but they said, you're old enough to be my dad. And then they became terrified when he got angry and said, I'm not that old. I look like I'm in my 40s. Then Vic, um, they continued to go on. And then uh, the girls were uh, terrified because he went from being the nice, charming Vic to, a, in their opinion, a monster. And they wanted to leave. They said they had to leave. Vic said, OK, walk with him to the door, grab her, kissed her, and then proceeded to do the same thing. To and then they got in the elevator and bawled their eyes out. And that's yeah. what they told you. What? Is that's that correct? correct? You weren't there. I was course. not there. Mm -hmm. Did they tell you why they went to his room? Yes, they were Sounds going like up there because they thought he was a nice guy, good Christian guy, and he was going to be nice to them. They'd met him a couple of times, always been really sweet. So they thought it'd be fine to go up there and have a talk. Wanted to get away from the loudness of the convention. Hold on, pause. <laughs> sure remembers a lot about that story. <laughs> Guy can't remember ever tweeting about Vic Mignogna, but man, he's got that story down, doesn't he? Can't even remember his own Twitter handle, but he remembers the names, the, the feelings that they went through. He's a n regular narrator on that one. Vic said, okay, you can, you can leave? And then grabbed them and kissed them. I believe this story, 0%. I like how in this, apparently, Vic, Vic really is Edward Elric, because, but instead of with height, it's age. Like if you if you insinuate that he's all like, what do you mean I'm an old man? Da, 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 da. Like he yeah. just snaps. He just turns into a monster. Just I, I imagine like his eyes turn red and he gets a double voice and all of a sudden everything behind him turns dark. Yeah, no, it's uh, <laughs> that's uh, who that's gonna be a yikes from me. Like um, you all have to be my dad. I'm only forty five. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you puny mortals insinuate that I am not a spry young man. Oh my god. I'm Save huge. Us. I threw Monica on the bed. Wait, <laughs> don't go. Give daddy a kiss before you leave. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I, 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 I'm shocked. I, I'm not shocked at all. I'm shocked 
that these people uh, have apparently that this story hasn't been told anyone anywhere, right? No one has told this story. No one well, has told I mean, the story. What a monster! Who would believe you that a man transformed into a monster before your very eyes? It's uh, it's insane. That it's an anime. I mean, it's <laughs> it's literally an anime. That's where these yeah. people live. It's crazy. Yeah. No one. No one called the cops after this. No one, uh, no one did anything. You know, there, there wasn't a friend to rescue. And by the way, because uh, this is apparently how this goes. Now, I don't know. I don't assault people. But apparently, after, uh, after someone insults your age or something, turns you down, you get extremely angry. They, you politely ask them what's next, and they say they want to leave. You walk them to the door, and then you force kiss them at that point, and then let them go. I mean... That's he was he was just in it for that that super quick force kiss. I mean, what he leaves the room without giving daddy his sugar. Like what? I, and maybe this happens. I honestly have no idea. Maybe this is something that the guys do. It doesn't enter my like the, what's what's the payoff for all of that drama? Uh, I, I don't get it. I don't understand that interaction. It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't None of make these stories ever do like the one that's like, I don't know if you ever heard this story where supposedly someone asked him to sign uh, like some uh, Edward Elwood Yowie. Yeah, thing. Hot Leia, right? Yeah, well, it was somebody, but like he said like, uh, he's like, he, he supposedly said like, who was responsible for this? And then they pointed <laughs> like some, some girl at the artist alley to which he marched over like, how dare you, ma'am? And he's like, such ah, <laughs> his powers up to go over there or something. What is... He just puffs out. His hair gets really big. Uh, okay. Okay. Hold on. Um, I'm going to read a couple chats real quick. Mega yeah. says, hey there, my very first super chat and on my birthday to top it off. So here's my way to help out while we listen to these never ending objections to form. Hey, thanks, buddy. Happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday, Mega. Morty J says, how the flying F do you not know what your Twitter handle is when you tweet over 300 messages a day? Uh, Gore435 says, this is all crazy. What are these people thinking? Nick, first super chat, but I've been following this for a while now. Hey, thanks, buddy. Greek Saiyan says, this is so cringe that I'm playing Ace Attorney to counterbalance the cringe of this deposition. Fluffy Witch says, hey, Nick, this is my first Super Chat donation. Keep up the great work. This is hilarious. Thank you. Storm Knight ND says, last Super Chat for a while. I will need the rest of my funds to treat the metastatic cancer and the stupidity burns I got listening to, to that speak. Ty is within his right to pimp smack the smirk off of him. Miss Meadow Kitty says, good to see Cody can take a joke. Sweetie Squad is here to spread love and positivity around the internet. Zulu Nation, rise up. Woke emoji. Mwah. Escher Shill says, oh, my God, does he remember anything? Apparently, he remembers a story that didn't happen to any to him, and he has no way to verify. Uh, the Big Red Bear says, let me think about this. I don't remember being his major answer. Does that have any legal consequences? Because it's clearly a lie. He's saying he doesn't know anything, but he puts up hundreds of Twitter posts. Sure. It just means that he will not be able to testify to his state of mind for any of those tweets. He can't know what he was thinking because he doesn't even remember making them. So when uh, Ty draws a negative inference on the defamatory meaning of a tweet, they will not be able to counter with uh, suddenly, suddenly him remembering, oh, I made that tweet and here's what I meant when I said it. I didn't mean it this way. This is what I meant. This is, uh, this is bad for the TCPA motion for them. Joseph oh, yeah, Kurt... Oh, oh. Cause you, no, you're right. Because oh my god, I didn't even think about that. Because now the the opposing side can just paint him in whatever light they want, and he can't defend himself because well, he don't remember, you right? Know, so yeah, holy so shit. They have to make they have to make factual assertions. This is how the TCPA works, right? Vic has to make a factual assertion, or well, the other side has to prove this is covered by the TCPA. Then Vic has to raise enough facts, evidence, and affidavits uh, to go ahead and and say, or have to raise facts in their evidence and affidavits to make a prima facie case for defamation uh, with for the elements of defamation or tortious interference or, you know, all of that stuff. And then they have an opportunity to assert evidence uh, and affidavits for their affirmative defenses. Um, and then if they prove their affirmative defenses, 
even if Vic proved the prima facie case of, a, of defamation, then their affirmative defenses would kick in because you're allowed to do something. That's why it's an affirmative defense. And then they'd win on the motion. Well, they can't present evidence as to his state of mind on any of these tweets because he said under oath he doesn't even remember making them. So how can he suddenly testify to what his state of mind was? He doesn't even know that he made it. So uh, that's... That's, 80 plus fucking job toy eh? or toy it actually is toy holy shit he he eliminated roughly 370 or whatever possible factual uh issues he could have raised what do you want surprise visitor Just, sorry sorry that your netflix broke <laughs> now, now, how, now how can they chill you're not on camera over there so you can just sit down and hang out okay uh sorry let's um Oh, in the last super chat, Joseph Kerwin says, help Nick or Nick help. Cody is bad touching us. Uh, so there <laughs> I was giving him a little, a uh, little bit of that ASMR. When oh, you're gone. Hi. gross. Yeah. You can't even, you can't even get the video. What's wrong. Why'd you break everything? I must be eating up all the bandwidth. Okay. Uh, let's, let's move on. Let's move on. Somehow We've got fault, I apologize. 16 Cody. Sorry. Uh, 16 <laughs> minutes and seven seconds. Three. Uh, -huh. uh, let me know when you're ready. Okay, yeah. Three, two, one, go. Do you recall if they, if he went, did he give them their, scratch it, did he give them the room number and then they later came up? I think they went together. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Can't remember though. I can't remember. Okay. Of course he can't. Okay. When did they tell you this occurred? I can't remember the exact date. Was it, say, at least two years ago? No. Okay. Are you oh, are you saying when the assault occurred? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm trying I can't to get some idea of the timeline. Was it was it last week, last month, last year, that kind of thing? I can't remember the day or when they okay. said it happened. Okay, pause. Sorry, I just realized that uh, Lady Rackets' mic is on. So um, yeah. if she said something, it would come through. Before I just I turned... heard a, like a shush here, like a whispering peanuts parent. So yeah. we didn't pick up anything really. Do you wanna do you wanna say hi before I shut you off? No. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Okay, let me, uh, there we go. Now you're unplugged. Sorry, I hope that didn't cause any feedback for anybody. Uh, it's all good. At least, at least on this end, I mean, I don't know how it sounds on stream, but on this end, it was fine. Okay, there we go. All right, sorry. Uh, 16 minutes and 46 seconds. Okay. Three, two, one, go. But well, when did they tell you about it? Recently, or relatively recently this year. Uh, about when? I cannot I'm remember. I'm trying to trap you. I just, I'm not worried say, about that. Say January, maybe? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Certainly Hold on. Late last year. Pause. Pause. <laughs> Sorry. Pause. <laughs> say January, maybe. When else this year would they have told you, Ron? <laughs> would they have told you after you talked about it on January 22nd to Kamehakan? Would, would, you, would they have told you then? But does anybody notice what's going on here? How do you allege civil conspiracy? Uh, you've got text messages pointing to these people living with Ron and Monica. Uh, he's suggesting it was January that they told him. Uh, right around the time that all this came out. They haven't said anything. So is it civil conspiracy? Is it... Uh, uh, oh, and interesting, interestingly, by the way, Ron and Monica are separate parties, so alleging civil conspiracy between those two is probably pretty easy. But um, is, it, is it civil conspiracy if all of the accusers are close friends and, and two of them have even lived, lived with you? Is, is that, what, is, what does it take? What does it take? Not what does it take, but what facts can you raise to at least get the possible inference of it uh, for a prima facie case? That's the question. That's the question they have to have to answer on some of this stuff sorry sorry this just this annoys me it's like sometime this year what what do you say january i don't know maybe well what was it february ron was it after you talked about it you think he was coached like you think uh, oh yeah his lawyer told him like just keep everything vague don't peg any any details or anything like that yeah the only thing his lawyer would have never said to him because he knows he he wouldn't be able to uh to adhere to it is the no pegging thing but yeah definitely <laughs> Definitely keeping it vague. Vague would be part of the coaching. Uh, so we're at 17 minutes and two seconds. Um, right, let me, uh, oh shit, what the fuck? All right, hold on. Let me get to the two seconds and my mouse just went weird. All right, we're good. All right, three, 
two, one, go. I think it was, it was this year. Is that correct? Maybe. Yeah. I'm getting there. Um... But you can't recall them telling you when this happened? Um, I can't recall when, the, when it happened, when they told me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How do you know them? Um, they are fans of this industry. Um, met them at a convention when I was there with Monica. Um, been really nice. And then developed a relationship. How long have you known them? Creep. Mm, three years, three or four years. <laughs> So they didn't tell you about this until sometime this year, that's a question? No, they told me they had a horrible interaction with Vic that they wouldn't speak about. I didn't have the details. About when did they tell you that? Really pretty quickly after meeting us. Okay. Which you're thinking is around three years ago? Three to four years. Three to four, okay. Pause. Three to four years ago? They tell you they have a really horrible interaction with Vic that they won't speak about. Monica continues to work with Vic for all of those years, doesn't say a word. Toye doesn't say a word. By the way, at least according to the Kamehacon texts, this creep decided to live with two fans of the industry. Think about what is going on here. That's, I wish, I don't know if Ty ends up asking this question. I wish he would have asked it right away. Um, wait a minute. These are fans that you met at a convention. You lived with them? Or they lived with you? Why would you let fans live with you? Well, I mean. What? what? <laughs> We've got to talk about these fans' activities as they're, they're apparently this close to voice actors that they will, they will just go live with them and their fiance. Uh, or, I mean, uh, surely they felt no threat from Ron. Um, That's what I literally was about to say. He's like, Does this guy look like he's going to proposition you? He looks like he's going to proposition your dad. But what about the actual boyfriends? Uh, no, sorry, that was rude. But, I mean, I mean, the, so. We've, we've got some weird inconsistencies here. Oh, why did these girls go up to the, why did these girls go up to the room? Why did they do that? Oh, is it because they're so uh, inside the voice actor industry that they will uh, not only go up to someone's room, but they'll just go live with another voice actor and her fiance just randomly uh, just live uh, with you guys. Unless he about... lied, unless he lied to Kamea Khan about them living together. That'd be interesting. You know what else is interesting? Pour one out. Uh, Dame Pesos just got banned off Twitter for saying that uh, Ron Toye is a pedophile. No. Yeah. No, not f in the chat for Dame Pesos. That is yeah. that is bad news. I Dame, guess he couldn't ignore it after all. Uh, yeah. Apparently not. Apparently Ron Toye had to uh, report Dame Pesos for that. That is uh, that's embarrassing. So I guess he lied under oath about that one. Um, all right. Sorry. We're at, uh, 18 minutes, 12 seconds. All right. Three, two, one, go. That's fine. You have any idea what prompted them to tell you these things this year? I'm not sure what prompted it. Probably the uproar of what's going on. Okay. I've had a lot of girls tell me some of their stuff and story about Vic assaulting them. Girls tell you some of your stuff. Like who? A like lot. who? I don't know all their names, but oh, it's I don't a lot. know their names. But... You can remember. <laughs> Besides the ones yeah, you sure. Um, the, the people that I know of that have told me that have come forward that Vic assaulted them. Okay. Same, same three. Same, same, same to him. Right. The people I've repeated. Well, okay, hold besides on. Besides Monica Real. Pause. Pause. Uh, 1856. Lady Rackets has requested that I make the volume available to her so she can actually hear what's going on live rather than being on a 20 second delay uh, and hearing me talk about it beforehand. It's really weird. So give me one second. I'm going to adjust my audio settings um, to do that for her because I'm nice. I'm a gentle, gentle and loving husband. So here we go. Uh, and I can ditch these headphones. And I think if I do this right, it won't interfere with the mic. So, one second. Uh, Cody, can you give me some words? 
Hold on. Hold on. I gotta I gotta fix you. Oh, uh here we go. I gotta get uh we we'll take this moment of silence as we wait for uh Nick to fix this up to to send more signs for Dame Pesos. Every moment of silence for Dame Pesos is deserved. Okay. Uh all right, I think think we're ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> Lady Raggeds has to stay up all night tonight, straight through. So we'll see how long this stream goes. Oh, uh, 18 minutes, 56 Shoot. seconds. Shoot at me. At okay, yeah. He, thank you for dropping the shoot. 18 minutes, 56 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Who else can you remember telling you? That they were assaulted by Vic. I can't remember all the names, but there have been. Understand several. that. Tell me the ones you can remember. I just gave them to you. Do it again, please. No. Excuse me. No. <laughs> Mr. Tory, you're not allowed to say no here. Just, just do it again. It's fine. You can go up to the judge and he can tell you. I mean, sure. if you want to do that. Right. Victor Mignana assaulted. Monica Rial, Jamie Markey. Those are the ones that I can remember right now. Did you ever say that Mr. Mignana assaulted hundreds or a hundred women? I can't remember. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you have no memory of ever saying that? Can't Definitely. remember. Okay. He thinks he's winning. That's the best part. Yeah. If your memory clears up, uh, would you please tell your attorney so they can supplement discovery? Sure. Thank you. <laughs> Smirk. Smiley face emoji, IRL. Yeah. Smiley, smiley. I'm not nervous. Okay. <laughs> Let's go to page four. This is page three being done, by the way. There are 368 pages to that document. Yeah, amnesia is set in, so. Um, number four, uh -huh. glance over it yes. and tell me if you remember making, uh, posting this tweet. I can't remember posting. Okay. I, I'm representing to you, by the way, that all the pages in here are copies of tweets that were posted on Twitter by someone with the handle Ron Toy. Okay, please read, starting with, I will call him off, and you can stop before the, before the quote. Sure. I will call him awful, and this isn't hearsay. There are three types of people in this world, and I am a sheepdog. Quote from a great movie <laughs> below for reference. What? Okay. Then the next block that, uh -huh. a, that is a quote. Yes. Go ahead. It's not the full quote. Okay. Go ahead and read what's there. You don't mind. Yeah. And if it ever darkened their doorstep, they wouldn't know how to protect themselves. Those are the sheep. Then you've got predators who use violence to prey on the weak. They're the wolves. And then there are those blessed with the gift of aggression, an overpowering need to protect the flock. These men are a rare breed who live to. Hold on, what pause, movie? pause. He's so proud of this. This is how he reads it like, is here is my poem that I wrote. You're gonna love it. <laughs> this, is, this is my dramatic reenactment. This, I hope he adds this to his his inevitable, his inevitable voice actor portfolio that he'll put up on YouTube. His 30 second voice actor. This is this is part of my portfolio for audiobooks. <laughs> and if it ever darkened their doorsteps, they wouldn't know how to protect themselves. <laughs> they wouldn't know how to protect the dramatic pauses as he looks up, like like you taking this tie? Take my righteous words of fury. You beautiful Texan man. Also, uh, that binder of tweets reminds me of the fucking Tucker Carlson falsehoods binder that Kirk Eichenwald was flapping around, except this one isn't blank. Oh, brutal. Uh, <laughs> one second, I got a, I got a, I got a noise gate. 
a little bit higher. See, Lady Rackets, love her to death, but oh my goodness. Ruining. Women. Am I right, men? <clears throat> yeah, ruining the Such show. Ruining the show. They won't be able to hear you when you talk. I had to raise the Coming noise Coming into gate. the man cave and boomering up all the techno. Yeah, this is, a, this is the man cave, not the it's ma'am cave. <laughs> uh, all right, sorry, I'm at 22 minutes and six seconds. Am I echoing? I, I, no, you, you were because uh, my, my mic was picking up your volume, and I, that's why I raised the noise gate. So. Oh, okay, because, uh, yeah, some, uh, someone in the AO chat said I had an echo. So. Yeah, they just got to the point that I was noticing on audio, so I fixed it. Oh. All right, so uh, three, two, one, go. Is that a quote from? I believe it's American Sniper. Chris Kyle. So, does it appear to you that the person who posted this is saying that they are the sheepdog and that that means that they guard the weak? Yes. Okay. I'm the sheepdog. Okay. Is that you? Yes. It's my vigilante okay. handle. How do you guard the weak? Objection. When so you are the weak. Protecting them. <laughs> Speaking up for them if they need. So brave. Hold on, pause. Sorry. He's quoting Chris Kyle, who shoots people in the face <laughs> to protect the weak. How do you protect the weak? Speaking up for them. I tweet. Need it. <laughs> <laughs> He's quoting a guy with like, who's literally a Navy SEAL copy pasta. <laughs> <laughs> I stand up. Stand I'm, up. The, I'm the sheepdog. I stand in the gap. I stand in the gap. <laughs> All right. Sorry. 23 minutes and four seconds. Three. Oh, hold on, I'm a little ahead of you. Okay. Uh, 23. There we go. Okay. Three, two, one, go. The sheepdog stands tall. Nothing tall about Toye. <laughs> That's too much. We'll be here all day. All right, go to page five, please. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Read uh, the, the text part. You can ignore the headers unless I tell you otherwise. Uh, to state the date, I guess. January 25th. Okay. Okay, do you recall posting this tweet? I don't remember it. Okay, would you read it, please? I am not anonymous. I know Vic. I know ladies very close to me who have the exact same experience with him that mirrors the experiences of, a, of hundreds of the survivors coming forward. Some stay anonymous due to fear. Understandably, if it walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, it's a duck. Doesn't actually say duck, does it, though, at the end? is an ellipsis, right? Quacks like a duck. It's an it's a implied dot, dot, duck. Dot. Pause. I mean, we know the obvious joke, right? <laughs> if it watches like a cuck, brings snacks like a cuck, then it's a dot, dot, yes. dot. Toy a. like a cuck, lacks a jawline like a cuck, <laughs> lacks hair on the forehead like a cuck. Oh my goodness. All right, all right, sorry. I just had to drop that. 2409. Three. Oh, I keep getting ahead of you. Well, you could always just wait for it to pick back up, but. Eh, uh, there we go. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Does this jog your memory? Did you. I don't remember posters? tweeting it, but that's okay. my Twitter handle. Okay. He remembers that it's his Twitter handle now. <laughs> Hundreds of the survivors coming forward. What do you think the mysterious person who posted this tweet meant? <laughs> I think that this is my Twitter handle. So oh, I tweeted brutal. this. Okay. And what they meant was, and what I believe, based on what I know about the four victims we've already addressed, and the research I've done online, and this was done on the 25th, which is four days after Vic's own testimony admitting he messed up, that there 
and looking online, io9 articles or whatever articles in Google searches and YouTube and all of that, there's hundreds of people talking online about this for years and years. And so if there's talk for years and years, it must be true? Objection for in this situation, what I'm talking about for Victor Mignogna, I believe it without question to be true because of the personal experiences that people very close to me related and then hundreds and hundreds of accounts online and his own admission on the 21st that he failed to ask for consent. Well, we'll get to that. Sure. We'll get to that. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> He's a cartoon character. Back to, um, how do you know them again? I met them at a convention. Did they ever live with you? Both did at one okay, point. Okay, how, how long? About a year ago, maybe two. For, are, are they I'm still out there? No, they live in Florida, I think. Um, have you produced any affidavits from them stating that Vic assaulted them? Anything that I've got, my attorney has. No. Do you remember any written statements they gave you that they might have signed that say Vic Mignogna assaulted them? I can't remember. Or, or that corroborate your version of the right. story? I, I, I believe so, yes. Okay. You would have turned that over to your attorney Without, if you had yes. it? Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Then no. How did you meet Monica? I was managing an apartment that she lived in. Did Pause. you ask her out on your first date? Pause. I'm sorry. Did he leverage his apparent authority over her living situation to <laughs> coerce and assault her into a sexual encounter? I mean, what other possible inference could we have? He was an authority over her very means of living. Has Vic ever managed anyone's apartment? I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh my God. I mean, they're talking about just someone who voice acts, having so much power over someone that, uh, that they would be helpless to, to make their own decisions and that they b effectively couldn't consent. But this man controls where she lives. Could throw well, her out. I mean, I mean well, to, metaphorically throw her out on the street. To be fair, Vic's not just a voice actor. He is a were beast, apparently, and right. is, is will trigger into transformation if you question his age. So, right, I mean, and yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. the age. I mean, it's like the it's the fullest of moons. <laughs> I'm forty five. Sorry. Uh. <laughs> Tell you. <laughs> All right. Twenty six minutes fifty one seconds. Oh, exactly. Cool. Three, two, one. Go. Can you clarify your question? Well, I, sorry, I assumed the fact. I, there was, was there a first date? Yes, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> who asked who out? I asked her. Okay. Now, was that <laughs> harassment? The way I asked her? The, the fact that you asked her out. Is no. that harassment? Okay. okay. So you'd agree that just merely asking somebody out doesn't constitute harassment? I'm not sure. Really? Okay. Who is this? Uh, she's a lady I know, really good, close personal friend. She used to work at Funimation. Okay. Why, why didn't you mention her earlier? And what did she tell you? Oh, can I pause this real quick? Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh, 2744. I just wanted to, uh, this is kind of unrelated. Uh, Ron Toye is, a uh, is, uh, I don't know if you saw, um, so they're showing in the AO chat that, uh, he, he's been talking about you. I don't know. He's saying that you've been really grasping at straws. They're very triggered and they will depose you soon enough. Smiley face. Okay, good. We'll see about that, Ron. Ron, please don't depose me. Please, Ron. Do not pursue deposing me. I don't want you to do it. I would really rather you not do it completely for my sake and not because it will cost you a fortune, but I just don't want you to do it. Uh, please, please don't for me. I'm scared. I am terrified of being deposed by Lemoyne 
or Casey or Andrea or whoever you else want to hire, please, please don't pursue it anymore. If you do it anymore, I might be worried about it. Please don't take that fight to court. <laughs> Also, uh, rumor has it Duchette is watching. So, Duchette, if you are watching, your head looks like a micro penis. Have fun over there, buddy. <laughs> What's a Duchette? Oh, uh, it's someone whose head looks what like a micro penis, according to Cody. Yeah. Uh, Greg, buy a mug. Buy a cuck light your mug. All right. Uh, I'm at uh, 2745. Yep, that's where I'm at. Cool. All right. Three, two, one, go. Assaulted by Vic Mignano. Uh She let me know that um, she was in her office. Vic came in, closed the door, and then grabbed and kissed her. And then at the end said something along the lines of, uh, uh, I hope that's okay, and then walked out. So the story she told you was he kissed her first, mm -hmm. then said, I hope that's okay. Yeah, hope you don't mind, and okay. walked out. Okay. Impeccable so, memory returns. And she told you that story, she, you got that from her? Yes, from okay. her. And just to be clear, they told you yes. their, their account, okay. How do you know Miss? She's a friend of mine. Well, I know, but I mean, how, okay, rephrase that. How long have you known her? Two years, one and a half years, somewhere in there. Okay. Um, has she ever lived with you? No. Okay. Uh, when did she tell you about this interaction with Mr. Mignano? I cannot remember the, t the day. Was it this year? I'm not sure. If you would, take a minute and Try hard to see if you can remember. Sure. Pause. 2914 is where I'm at. Sorry, yeah. he said try hard, and it reminded me of Greg Doucette. It's funny that Greg is watching the stream. Greg, why didn't they leak this one to you, buddy? Why didn't they leak this to you? Sorry. I just, I just heard, I heard try hard, and I was triggered. I was triggered. Well, look, they get, the, Greg's, they don't like interacting with Greg. When he gets too excited, he's, the top of his head starts squirting and everyone gets creeped out. It's really weird. Can you just, just like a Band-Aid, just rip open the bag of chips, please, for the love of God. Look, you're the man. Open her damn chips. She can open her own chips. She can just can do it quickly so it doesn't crinkle for 27 minutes on the stream. Oh, my goodness. All right. I bet you don't even open pickle jars for her, for God's sake. <laughs> I, I open pickle jars silently. That's the point. I've opened 12 of them while this has been going. Uh, all right. 29 minutes and 14 seconds. Uh, three, two, one, go. Do we want to set a timer? No, that's fine. It, it's not coming to you? Uh -uh. Can't remember. I cannot recall. Do you have problems recalling things as a general rule? Well, there's a lot of things that happen over a course of time, so sure. sometimes I can't, sure. yeah. Do you ever remember things that didn't happen? No. How do you know? Because if I wouldn't remember something that didn't happen. Why not? Because it doesn't even make that question doesn't even make sense. That makes perfect sense. I'll re I'll rephrase it though if you need me to. Sure. You've testified numerous times that you can't remember making various tweets. Right. That yet you've also testified that you understand these tweets, right. which would imply a certain degree of knowledge. But anyway, mm -hmm. I'm asking, do you have any memory problems? And mm -hmm. you said no. Correct. And I'm saying, do you have any memories that turn out to be false? Yeah. Or have four. turned out to be false. Objection four. I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> His mannerisms are fantastic. Page five. I'm on it. Does, he, does he go through every page? He would read uh, the no. date and the okay. information mm -hmm. and what stated besides a header. On oh, page five, you said? Yep. 
I am not anonymous. I know Vic. I know ladies very close to me who have had the, who have the exact same experience with him that mirrors the experience of hundreds of the survivors coming forward. Some stay anonymous due to fear, understandably. If it walks like a duck, quacks oh, I'm sorry. like We've a duck. I'm sorry. We've already done that. My, yeah. my mistake. I'm sorry about that. I'll check these things off. Go to page six. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I know. It's 339. Go to page six. Uh, look at. Look at that text, state the date, and read the sure. tweet. It's January 25th. Yes, I do. Do you know who I am? Do you think I would make this up? He hurt me. He hurt my personal friends. He knows me personally. He knows who he hurt. Check yourself. You are backing the wrong guy in this one. Did you or you wrecked yourself. Yeah, I was thinking, I want to hear him say that in his voice. Do you remember sending it? I don't remember sending it, but it's right here in front of us. <coughs> okay. Check your stuff. Has your Twitter breaks. account ever been hacked, as far as you know? I'm not sure. Well, I mean, <laughs> do you know if it's ever been hacked? I mean, I'm not sure. Can you remember any incident of it being hacked? I am not sure. Well, do you remember it or not? I don't remember it or not. Thank you. Yeah. That's what I'm asking. He has dementia. All right. He hurt my personal friends. Who is that referring to? Victor Mignana. And he knows me personally is also referring to Vic Mignana? That is correct. And he How do you know? Weird. Check yourself. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? In this content, I don't know. I don't have the previous person who's talking to me at that point. Does, this, does the following sentence add any context that might? You're backing the wrong guy? No, it doesn't add context because okay. I don't know what they're saying about it. You ever used the phrase check yourself before? I'm sure. Well, what does it mean? Go back to think. Check yourself. Okay. Okay. Go to page seven. Sure. Sure. Not sure why there are two tweets sure, on this so page. Sure, so high-pitched. So look at the top one. Uh -huh. The same thing, read the date and the, and the, the text. Sure, January 26th, that's not true, LOL. You obviously don't know how sexual assault cases work. How many victims set up cameras just in case they get assaulted? There is consistency in a story shared, by almost, shared for almost 20 years. It's called a pattern. He is guilty, you will see. Who is he? In this situation, Victor Mignana. Okay. In, what about in a different situation? Hypothetically. In this situation, it's you. If this statement was false, what do you think should happen to the person making the false statement? Checks are false. Checks are false. Oh, there he's back. If the statement was false, <laughs> then My that person back. I missed him. Then Vic would have every right to sue them. What would be an appropriate punishment for them, Checks are false. in your opinion? Checks are false. Oh, it's like an old friend. Asked to take it off if it's a, if it's a false statement. That's it? Mm-hmm. Nothing more? No. What if, hypothetically, Mr. Mignana was terminated as a result of this false statement? Hypothetically. It's what would be a fair punishment to the person that made the statement? Checks in court. I'm not sure. You're not sure. I'm not a lawyer or a cop. No, no, I'm asking you just personally. You're, 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 you're personal. Pause. <laughs> Apparently, cops dole out punishments in this country. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, well, you know he, why he doesn't want to answer? Because, you know, then he'd be making the, the plaintiff's case. Right. Okay, so he, he's just weaseling out. It's fucking pathetic because he knows he's caught. You can see the look in his face. He should have to. Take it down. Okay, what about like everything else? Well, I, I, I'm not sure. Look, Mr. What, what, Beard. What am, I, what am I, a lawyer? What, what, what am I, a cop? <laughs> Look, Mr. Beard, Mr. Beard, you dare to check yourself before you wreck yourself. You're messing with the sheepdog here. Do you know what a sheepdog is, Mr. Beard? <laughs> it doesn't have an Adam's apple. <laughs> uh, 34 <laughs> minutes and 47 seconds. Three, two, one. Go. Opinion of right and wrong and fairness. What do you personally think would be an appropriate punishment? Check support. 
I'm not sure. Should the person who says this lose their job if they cause Mr. Mignogna to lose his job? Checks report. I'm not sure. If it's a false statement, I'll, I'll, I'll rephrase. If someone makes a false statement accusing Mr. Mignogna of sexual assault, he loses his job as a result of that, and then it later turns out to have been a false statement, is it fair for the person that made the false statement to lose their job? Checks it for. No. Why not? Due process, we mentioned earlier. Understood, but the hypothetical is that it's been proven that it's false. Just, just go with me on the hypothetical. If it's proven it's false, should the false accuser lose their job? Check no. Your Why not? Because the job had nothing to do with that statement in this, in that hypothetical what, situation. What would be? A, I'm sorry, I, I spoke over you. What would be a fair punishment to someone who makes a false allegation that gets the accused fired? That's not Checks for me to decide. Well, what do you think? Would, I mean, give me an example of something you think <coughs> would be fair. Checks report. Give them know. a new car. Really? Yeah. Okay. All right, we're going to speed this up and we'll come back. But I'm going to I'm going to ask you to look at look at that tweet, the second tweet on page seven. Tell me if you remember whether you posted this or not. I do not remember posting okay. it, but it's my Twitter handle. Right, I, that's fine. You don't have to say that. Uh, go to page eight, uh -huh. and on each of these pages, as I call them out, look at the tweet and tell me if you remember posting the tweet. Sure. Okay. Go to page eight. Yep. Do you remember? Nope. Okay, and it's okay if you say no. That means you don't remember posting the tweet. Fair enough? Fair enough. Okay. Go to page nine. Nope. Go to page ten. No. Go to page eleven. No. Go to page twelve. How long it takes him to read a tweet? No. Well, Go to I mean, page 13. Remember, he has dementia. But he was coached to burn time. <laughs> Probably. No. Go to page 14. I read these tweets faster while playing Risk of Rain. <laughs> no. Go to page 15. Well, he, as he reads it, he forgets it, so he has to reread it again, and then he forgets it again. <laughs> no. Turn to page 16. No. Go to page 17. Like it's an entire no. page Go of Webster's page Dictionary. <laughs> I'm just so glad Objection to Form guy's back. I missed him. Casey woke wasn't back up. It wasn't the same without him. No. Go to page 19. You know what? Just fan through him. You spot anything you recall? No. Hold on. Page 20. I gotta... Hold on. Guys. I might uh, have something is fun it, here. Is this a pause? Uh, yeah. Sorry. 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 Um, hold on. I gotta... I gotta get the... Uh, Give me, have it. What page are we on? Uh, I don't know. What's your time code at? Uh, I'm at uh, 38 minutes, 27 seconds. Okay. I think we're on page 20. Got, what am I doing here? Yeah, I got this. This. This up, let me reposition the video a little bit. Shrink it down just a hair. Need to see weasel face. Oh, sorry, we're not supposed to insult weasels. <laughs> Too much. This, um... This should work. This should work. We can do this. Uh, you guys will have to keep up with his speed reading. But I'll do my best to, uh, to, to put these up on stream as we're going. I believe we're on page 20. 
That's a 38 minutes, 27 seconds. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. That's a good one. No. Go to page 21. Whenever he reads, I just hear computer error sounds going off in his head. No. Go to page 22. No. Let's get the subpoena out of the Twitter. He's got to go back and check it again. Go to page 23. Riveting. My 92 uh, no. year old grandmother reads 24. faster than this man. No. Go to page 25. I read that five times. No. Okay. If you would, look at sure. page 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. <laughs> and tell me if you remember posting any of those. I'll, t I'll fan through as he goes. Delicately, he turns the page. That sounds like a romance novel. Line. Delicately, he turns the page. <laughs> Everything he does is effeminate. It's amazing. Don't insult women. He's like a kids in the hall character. Oh my God, Ron, it's three lines. <laughs> it's a really forgettable lines. Again, he just keeps forgetting and rereading and forgetting and rereading. I don't believe he read that entire one on page 29. <laughs> no. Okay. If you would look at pages 31 through 40. <laughs> Ty's so bored. I don't remember posting any of those tweets. So you get the point, but he has to do every one. In he order does. Because they didn't produce them. Yeah. Because they engaged in discovery abuse. He didn't turn the page yet. Oh my God, Ron! Yeah, you can tell this is a, fu this is a fucking act. It doesn't even look like he's reading. Move to this one. Yeah. He's clear. He's inconsistent in his reading speed. Clearly, yeah. just burning time on some of these. Yeah, sometimes you see his head move, and sometimes he doesn't move. That was so. This is thirty-five. So now he's turning to thirty-six. Sorry, I was. Can you imagine reading Rainbow hosted by this motherfucker? <laughs> Every episode will be two hours long. No, I think, didn't we establish earlier that he may or may not be a pedophile? I don't want to ever think about that. <laughs> I might not want him around the kids, yeah. I think LeVar Burton be there to keep him in line. He's a hypothetical pedophile. <laughs> don't, you'll get banned off Twitter saying that. I didn't say that on Twitter. But, but remember, he doesn't care. No. He ignores it. Okay. Look at pages 41 through 50 and tell us. If 41 to 50. Sending any of those I tweets. think the rest of this video might be a long haul. <laughs> I gotta pause and do some chats and just. You might just read super chats while he's reading. You'll probably finish him before he does. Notice my favorite liar is in all of these. Oh, shoot. What do you mean? Lanky Kong? Mars Girl? No, NJ4K1. Ooh, this oh, one's that a guy. Oh, I remember him. He's fantastic. I'm a cop. He's been every job ever. <laughs> Seems like the only thing he actually was was a sexual assaulter. That's the funniest part. And and cucks like Doucette love that guy. God, they should read his story. All those copy pastas you read, they were based on my real life. <laughs> He's burning through them now. Even he's bored of his own scheme. That's bad. Yeah. Cameraman's bored, so he adjusts. 
Good job. Now, why did I choose start, this profession? The cameraman was starting to doze off. He's falling over. Why did I choose to video the most boring things on earth? <laughs> I wanted to do the swimsuit edition. Now I'm doing depositions with weirdos. That'd be a great series, wouldn't it be? Weirdo depots? Yeah. You yeah, just get your hands on them. out of them, but yeah. Stop for a second on this. In the last six months, have has anyone posted to your Twitter account besides you, as far as you know? Posted to it? Yeah, has anyone posted a tweet besides you to to this handle, at Rontoy? People have... They you know what he they means. They posted, they replied, or posted... Right, or but I'm talking, about, I'm talking about creating the tweet. No. You, you, you've encountered... Let me rephrase. You, you are saying you haven't had any incident that you're aware of of someone besides you posting a type writing a tweet to the Ron Toy handle Twitter handle to me no, oh no. my god okay. try one more time <laughs> has anyone used your account besides you maybe he wasn't no. lying about not remembering okay. maybe he just have the the actually does have the brain of a goldfish do you think it'd be reasonable to assume that with that fact that you just stated that you actually did send all these tweets we just covered? Objection form. Yes. Okay. Okay. Read number 50, pages 51 through 60. Read them? Well, look them over and tell me if you, same, same drill we've been doing, tell me if you recall making any, tell me which ones you recall posting. Is someone whisper, whisper going to be hard to deny it? I don't recall any of those. Okay. Look at pages 61 through 70. He did not go he through all of those. I recall posting any of those tweets. Suddenly he can read at a normal pace. 58, 59, 60. One, sixty-two, three. I think he's about on sixty-three. Four. I just want to dub over the speed reading song from Syphil and Ollie whenever he's doing this. Eight. He really could read super chats in the time it takes him to do this. Well, I'm managing, I'm managing the scrolling. Yeah, that's the, that's the downside. But yeah, I just say you could, you could blow through a shitload of them. And he'd still be halfway through. <laughs> Hold on, pause. Pages seven. Uh, tweet number 69 here. Good, look where burden lies in defamation cases. If he was innocent, where is he? He hasn't responded to me once. He hasn't apologized to one person. He apologized to a room full of fans, not his accusers. Wait, did he apologize or not apologize? Who did he apologize to? Who didn't he apologize to? Part of their whole theory of the case is that he did apologize, but he apparently hasn't apologized. Now, he didn't apologize to the right people. He needs to grovel and kiss the ring, and he hasn't done that. And yeah, of, of course. The, the apology, the apology that's not good enough and wasn't actually an apology is suddenly an apology when the, when the lawsuit shows up. I find that to be a little inconsistent. Are you saying that the sheepdog is not a brave man who can stand up to anything? Are you saying the sheepdog is afraid? I'm saying the sheepdog might be good at wrangling cattle. <laughs> Uh, 4652 is where I'm at. Right. Three, two, one, go. 71 to 80, and tell us if you remember which ones you remember posting, which tweets you remember posting. I'm taking bets on the outcome of this read through.
My cousin has dyslexia and reads faster than this cuck. Why are you taking so long to read 74? Just a picture of Jesus. <laughs> well, he had to take in the Lord's greatness and mercy. Salty on that one there. <laughs> no, I don't recall. Okay. Go to pages, review pages 81 through 90, and tell us if you recall which pages you recall posting. Which tweets you were. Sorry, scratch that. Please tell us which tweets you recall posting. Ten minutes left. I take this time to remind everybody to go head down to that GoFundMe. Drop a little bit for Victor's legal defense. Because, yeah. You go, go, go hit, hit Vic up. Help, help Vicky. Vic is good boy. <laughs> Four likes. Oh. <laughs> I not been mean to anyone else. Or anyone who has supported him and kept it civil. Well... A couple tweets ago, you had a lot of profanity for someone. Dare you say you're disappointed in her. Go ask your real mom how you should react when a lady makes herself vulnerable and admits an assault and you shame her. Let me know what she thinks. Like, rather than your fake mom? Me too. I don't even know what he was implying there. Before you even ask for evidence, go ask your mother if it's appropriate to ask a victim of assault. Okay. Ready to press charges. Should also go to Nick's store. Hold on, store. pause, sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. 88. 88 here. The fabricated account about con photos? Who cares? Oh, that's interesting. Who cares? He assaulted other voice actors and employees of cons and studios. The reason he's getting fired is more than him hugging fans. Who cares about fabricated con photos? Kind of, kind of chalk another one up to the reckless disregard for the truth. Who cares about a false story? Like, literally disregarding the truth. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, here, do set spin it. I can't wait. Uh, well, actually, I can because I, I don't actually read his Twitter because he posts so much that the people who follow him stop following him. You'd think you'd think that a lawyer, such a uh, prestigious lawyer as Duchette, wouldn't have time to be on Twitter so much. I mean, you you've got a small practice and you do a nightly stream and you don't tweet half as much as Duchette. Yeah. And yeah, not only that, I mean, back in September, I overtly stated that I was. I was going to way slow down my law practice openly and over. I love it. It's like, how much law work do you do? As little as possible. Thank God. No, this is much more fun. <laughs> so, it's probably making you about the same amount of money with the super chats I've seen you get. We'll see. We'll see. Mm, uh, so, okay. Sorry. Yeah. We're on uh, 49 minutes, 55 seconds. Yep. Three, two, one, go. Take this time. Um, no. Okay. Look at pages. Where, what number are we on? Ninety-one. Yeah. Look at pages ninety-one through hundred. Tell us if you recall posting any of those tweet, tweets. And as he does this for the next hour, I'd like to remind everybody to get themselves a cuck light year mug over at Nick Ricada's shop. 
because you're going to have to drink yourself stupid to watch Ron Toye slowly read tweets. Just remember, y'all, this is the first hour and a half, roughly. Four and a half hours. I think once we get through these boring tweets, it, it picks up. Could have avoided this, of course, by just producing the documents that they were required to produce instead of playing Discovery games, but they didn't. Over 70 days and counting. Judge Chep will be fine. Really endearing yourself to everyone here, Ron. Jury, judge, yeah, you're, you got this shit in the bag, man. Hope Vic likes your car. Hold on, pause, sorry. I read through uh, tweet number, page number 97 here. I'm at 51 minutes, 37 seconds, Cody. The organization who failed to act on the claims filed against Vic are at fault. People spoke out, but since no police reports were filed, the excuse was nothing could be done. I mean, I don't actually think that there was an excuse given before, but maybe there was. So I agree, the company who knew the most for a few years and ignored it is to blame. Is that Ron throwing Funimation under the bus? Ron and Rial, hey Funimation, pay attention. Your, your bedfellows, there your is bedfellows, no they will there turn on you. There is no way that just everything behind the scenes of Funimation isn't just wrecked right now. That everybody isn't just fucking shrieking at each other and relationships are just fucking dead at this point. And there's no goddamn way that that whole operation isn't just a shit show behind the scenes now over this. I think uh, win or lose, doesn't matter where Funimation ends up in this lawsuit. Uh, I think Sony's going to come in with a, with a vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry. Uh, 5137. Um, oh, wait, should we? Hold on. I got to do a couple super chats because we're yeah. way behind on those. Yeah. Uh, Miss Meadow Kitty. Mr. Toye, is that true? Or is it true that while playing Pokemon Go, you homosexually sauntered into tall grass looking for a Tyrese Jaquan to please your wife while you post on Twitter? By the way, <laughs> for the record, Cody is a top. See you next Tuesday. <laughs> uh, Thank you, Miss Meadow Kitty. So oh, there you go. That was from Miss Meadow Kitty. I'm going to get blamed on Twitter for saying that, but that was someone else who said that. Brittany Mars says, Cody sounded like Bob Ross while you were gone, Nick. I was half expecting him to say happy little cloud. I said, well, I mean, if you want happy little cloud, I can give you happy little cloud. You know, it's okay. It's okay. Rose. Blaine 20 <laughs> says, Cody is off in his assessment of what Ron is thinking when he's saying he can't remember the nature and content of conversations. Ron has been coached and is giddy expecting a treat. <laughs> that, uh, what was it? What was Ron's uh, lawyer's name again? Because I just remember Jay Song. What was it? Casey the Sierra. Casey Sierra. Yeah, he just throws him a little Scooby snack from off screen. And just he just catches it with his mouth after every. I don't remember. Yeah, let's see. Uh, okay, we've got Miss Meadow Kitty says, due to Ron Soye's lack of ability to remember, I suggest putting him into a focus camp where he can focus on his six gorillion lies. <laughs> uh the big fee says first super chat ron looks like tony stark's unsuccessful brother <laughs> <laughs> uh andy m says wait 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 if he doesn't remember these chats how does he know this isn't the full quote then <laughs> good question he doesn't uh, remember how he doesn't know octorian said well if, if you looked at it sorry we we didn't have the tweets up at that time but it is truncated like it's cut off i read it the other day on twitch uh, and it was it's cut off so you can't see Octorian says do not tell me that soy boy cuck knows a thing about aggression or how to protect what is yours what in the actual frack is this Aaron Garza said sue department complex for black mold Ron Toye equals racist confirmed yeah I can't draw any other conclusion than that Travis the bard says with Ron's voice <laughs> put the lotion on its skin or the hose again it gets the hose again if you put the lotion on uh Would blaine fuck 20 me? i'd fuck me blaine 20 says customer will my mortgage payments balloon after some number of years ron i can't remember customer uh okay how long have you been a mortgage loan officer ron i don't know i can't remember uh so there we go okay back to the back to the video you ready uh just a second all right what's uh 5138 on my end right, i'm at 5137 close enough all right so, yeah three two one, go.
He looks like the substitute teacher grading papers. When First few complaints were filed against him. What complaints? Weren't a good portion of the allegations proven to be Dake. Dake allegations are dangerous. Also, they yeah. have proof. That's why they fired him. How would you know, Ron? 101 through 110. And tell us if you remember posting any of those tweets. Look, he, it wasn't his fault. He got Iranian super hacked. Pause. Sorry. Uh, 5209. Mm -hmm. They should have fired Vic Mignogna a long time ago. Sucks that report after report fell on deaf ears and saying no police report was filed, so their hands are tied is a, is a sack it BS. Uh, how would you know about these, Ron? Where are these? Funimation hasn't confirmed any of this. No indication of any of these reports. That he didn't know about the investigation uh, later in, I think in March, when Casey finally told him, uh, you really need to say you have no idea what this investigation is. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Okay, back to... You apologize, like it's not your show. Uh, 5209, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. You've been getting death threats and harassing calls. Have you? He's reading at the speed of a third grader reading out loud to the class. He started it. Put the words together, Ron. Now comprehend the sentences in your mind. Okay, pages 111 through 120, please. Woo. Tell us if you recall posting any of those tweets. This is riveting television. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. He's a big fan of an, an admirer of Tonka Saw. <laughs> Countless other actors who have been assaulted by him. And by countless, I mean four. That I can remember. Pause. Which I can't, I don't remember. Pause, sorry. 53, 55. Mm -hmm. Have you met Vic in person? Do you work at Funimation? How do you know if they didn't let people know about his behavior? Oh, wait, you don't. Wink face. Continue, Keyboard Ninja, and defend the Predator We know the tr while we know the truth. Ron, do you work at Funimation? How do you know if they didn't let people know about his behavior? Wouldn't it be interesting if an unre uh, unrelated person, you know, not in staff, not a con not contracted by Funimation, has intimate knowledge of the goings on inside Funimation? That would be interesting. Probably tricky for Funimation too. It'd be a mess, especially if that information was supposed to be confidential. Yeah. Uh, I'm at fifty three fifty five. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Cowards for not making a statement yet and blaming it on Sony. How would they know? How do you know? Where are those communications? They haven't produced them. A little narwhal told him. These are all still prior to the Funimation tweets. Funimation was induced to make their potentially defamatory tweet by Ron Toye. Chris, you picked a really shitty toady. He was innocent. Why would he be fired? Uh, no. Please look at pages 121 through 130 and tell us if you recall which of these tweets, if any, that you recall. Posted. We are lying. He should sue.
So much for Lady Rack, it's not falling asleep tonight. <laughs> I know what's going on behind the scenes, and I assure you it's true. Not married. <laughs> Studios did internal investigations, and that's why he's getting fired. Guy knows what's going on behind the scenes. He likes to watch. <laughs> he might not be able to. He's getting fired due to the axe. How would you know? Countless others. No. Can I go to page 131 through 140? Wanted hugs and kisses are assault. Review those pages and tell us if you recall making any of the posting any of those tweets. Countless fans. Countless. Ty sounded like Ron got him craving a sunset right now. Okay. You all are losers. At me. His tweets are even better now that we know what his voice sounds like. Hold on. Every, every tweet is just lisping Milton, trying to break bad. I just love that he says, uh, he keeps saying, he keeps talking about knowledge of the internal investigation over and over and over again. Now it might be in court and now he might have a criminal record. How would he do that? I know there's investigation that is still ongoing on February 10th. Really? Why are people demanding evidence? You think Vic will like his car? I wonder what kind of car he's going to end up having to give Vic. And how do you tie? Maybe Ty will get a second car. He can give it one of his daughters as a present. There was no evidence. Why would he be getting fired? Maybe there was an investigation. Doesn't have to be by the police, employers, so those two. And then they decided to fire him. <gasps> Ron sure is talking a lot about this investigation that was confidential. No. He would have no information about. Let's go off the record just a second. Yeah. Take a small break. And we're going off the record at 11.25. You guys. That's it. We are done for the night on the video. Got a lot of super chats to read. Uh, that's, uh, there you go, guys. That's the first roughly hour and a half of deposition. Uh, we'll get the, we'll get the rest out sometime soon. Sometime soon. We got Rial's deposition. We got Vic's deposition. Gonna go through the video of all of it. You'll be able to watch all of it with the appropriate agreed upon redactions. I mean, unlike the other side, who is not, uh, lived up to their stipulated redactions, but whatever. I guess. Hmm. I'm just waiting for the uh, the super cut someone's going to make of every time he says I can't remember. Well, that may be coming. That may be coming. Let's just let's just put that out there. That may be in the works already. Uh, all right. Well, Cody, at this point, of course, it is really late. I'm going to go through super chats. You're welcome to stay, but you're also welcome to bounce because it's 2:45 in the morning. Yeah, I figure. I mean, I don't go to bed till ridiculous a ridiculous time so i figure i'll stay just in case there's any super chats directed at me there's all right gonna be some uh let's see got cowboy fmj91 says i wish a body language expert would go over his mannerisms and give a scientific opinion on how close to weasel this soy boy is oh my goodness who's the chick who did the uh the body language during the kavanaugh stuff on youtube i gotta get I got to get uh, her opinion. That would be great. I would love to hear her opinion of all three deponents. That would be very interesting. 
that would be fucking amazing. You just do like a like a regular video or something and just have her look at each one. Like take give her a clip or something and then give it that. That'd be freaking amazing. I feel like I have a line to her somehow. I feel like I have a line. If you are my connection to that person, I can't remember her channel name right now, but if you're my connection, please uh, get me in contact because I feel like I have a line to that person. That would be amazingly interesting. Uh, Gay and still at large says, I mentioned this on Twitter, but you and Ty should really consider taking the trademark for Kick Vic's stupid nickname out from under them. Percy and Screech in the morning sounds like a great radio show. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be good. That'd be a good show. Uh, I don't... Bombard is the channel. Her name is yeah, Reagan. still large as my nigga. I love that dude. Yeah, I'm going to definitely see if I can get a hold of them because I think they would love to analyze. I could, you know, in the whole thing, clips or whatever. Uh, Queen Nidus. Is Ron's only source of testosterone comes from drinking the messy, sloppy seconds dripping from her mistress's flapping, gaping labia. That's disgusting. <laughs> You'd think said amount would be enough considering how much of a cuck he is. Joe Dirt says, so they're going to kill the modern dubbing scene and the machine behind it over trying to throw out a wholesome guy. Great job, Funimation and ANN. Can't wait to see you beg for money even harder. Uh, yeah, ANN has a, they have a money problem, right? Oh, they got so many problems behind the scenes. It's amazing. They're awful people. They deserve every bit of it. Will Ross says, first, can we get a how embarrassing right to the cam? Second is he and Monica's relationship legal, being that he's an adult with diminished capacity. He's a clearly <laughs> potato and she had sex with him. So gross, Monica. <laughs> oh, I, I have to talk more into the mic. I oh, we're done with the video so I can change it now. Okay. Okay. She doesn't want to hear you, Cody. Rude. I'm oh. rude. I'm sorry, I me I annoy you, Miss Rackets. I didn't mean it. Okay, just a second, Cody. I gotta I gotta swap you up here. Alright. Here. Alright, give me some words. Okay, just a second. Alright, I did. This one. Oh my goodness, now I can drop the noise gate. Woo! Audio issues on the fly is my favorite thing to do. All right, that should be a lot better. That should be a lot better on the uh, clipping. Sorry about that, guys. Hooray. Um, okay. Uh, Namrek Isto says, I'm quietly smirking more than Toye as I can see the end of an engagement, end of a relationship, the end of a life here. Wow. Ty is brutal and I love it. Ty, thank you for showing the deposition of one of the people who ruined my birthday. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Mad Lad says, my boyfriend and I have gotten confused over the stream because we sometimes hear Cody and think he's he was Ron. Thought he was a ventriloquist aside. <laughs> thanks, Cody, for owning up to your nonsense and apologizing for it. Eh, yeah, I fucked up. Uh, you not, you know, what you did. Yeah, Red, Redgrave Gaming says, in the time it's taken Soybean to read one tweet, I've 100% completed Red Dead Redemption 2, <laughs> Skyrim, <laughs> Skyrim, and Grand Theft Auto 5. Also, take my super chat, Cherry Law Daddy. Happy to, thank you. The Big Fee says, hooked on phonics, work for me. John Lacey says, the reason it took him so long to read the picture of Jesus was he was waiting for the gift to load. P.S. First Super Chat. Thanks for all the entertainment. Hey, thanks. Thanks a lot, buddy. Um, well, he was reflecting on the Lord's wise words. It was in Leviticus 13.9. I said that lion's bad. <laughs> lion's lion bad. Lion's, it's bad. It's uh, bad. Okay, let me, uh, I got to pull up the other window. So that's, uh, that's the big Super Chats. Now I got to go back uh, to, the, to the beginning. Let us begin at the beginning. Just for a little bit. Okay, 13 Stooge says, Nick, you pleb, it's not pronounced war chest, it's pronounced war chest. Love your streams and they're fun. Listen when I work on my webcomic. Hey, thanks, buddy. Uh, Blink Your Eyes 1400 says, if Funimation contractors are determined to be employees, does that open them up to a class action lawsuit to anyone they terminated? Um, I don't think a class action because the, the nature of their termination would be individually, fact-specific individually, but it may open them up to IRS problems. 
uh sam sam x steel thank you for the donations uh where are we here we go i think i think that's all the ones i have to be on this window for uh kyle kyle rambler says late and lemoir the neon outlaw thanks for the donation salty pretzel says hey nick can i send all this nebraska rain up north please don't we've had so much rain this year i don't need i don't need more of that that sounds terrible um all right we've got uh neon outlaw again thanks for another donation ultimate irs says vic lost the case again because you're late jt drew says pouring a glass of pendleton for this one lng talbot link says i sent you an email about phil from the dollhouse he's a chatty brit that is willing to talk doll industry with you that sounds great i need to get drexel on for that discussion uh tomoki sakurai uh says recommendation for the first time whiskey drinker and maybe not something that costs 200 dollars yet look buddy I'll, I'll recommend the same thing for everybody go get yourself a lagavulin 16 and take your time with it if it's a little smoke if you don't like the smoke if you don't like the smoke in the peat go with uh a, a, like a doll winnie or an oban um they're all around the same price about 80 bucks a bottle if that's if that's a little high for your blood which is fine get some basil hayden's uh that's around 45 bucks itchasinko says got a hundred dollars on code saying gamergate in first 15 minutes no you didn't happen didn't happen i don't think i said people are still salty what are you gonna do rister crap thanks for the donations ramon franco says does cody hurt your fee fees get over it be better uh <laughs> ksh moth kshm author says i don't recall making the super chat <laughs> <laughs> indie visualist says ron is a cross between a cuckold and an insect a roach with a u anthony siebert says i will catch this in the morning rip my sleep augie says second time i'll be missing your stream cody is annoying uh verthica frost scale says any word about todd habercorn's court case uh nothing's been filed in todd's case uh nothing's been filed so um no harbinger 345 says cuck light ear fits much better than thread knot fin frog says i'm late but not preggers or dead awesome z fighter says the thread knot will sink the like the titanic uh miles tails power fan nine says please tell cody to lower his mic sensitivity and we i think we fixed that andrew war yeah. snowboard says did you just give legal advice to akiva cohen no i begged akiva cohen to sue kiwi farms fin frog says welcome back cody uh, also, I would love it if Akita, if Akiva would go ahead and point us all to the registration numbers of his registered uh, registered copyrights that he has on those photos. Uh, I think that would help people understand, um, you know, the uh, the copyright issue. And uh, very interesting because when you register a copyright uh, and then and then someone violates that copyright, you don't just have your normal uh, copyright action. There there are statutory damages up to one hundred and fifty thousand per item. Um, so as long as you follow the registration steps appropriately, that it really ramps up the damages. Very interesting stuff. Finn Frog says, welcome back, Cody. Hi. Walter Gilbert, thank you. Timothy Reaper says, Mysterious Legal Cinema, $29.99. Finn Frog <laughs> says, Mr. Mignogna. Uh The Pie Baker says, there's an individual that my soon-to-be step midgets will be buying the Sea Lightyear shirt for Christmas, birthday, or sperm donors day. Uh, criminal investigation or criminal imagination says just nod and agree. Walter Gilbert says thanks. I was literally going to say that. Let us hear. Uh, Voltic Enigma says he looks like he's wearing those glasses with the fake nose and mustache. <laughs> Mark, bit, yeah. Mark Nicholas says like a deer in front of a headlight. Yorgamund07 says Toye spammed nervous smileys in real life. Wow. <laughs> uh dcv titan says god he looks like a tampon that just desperately wants to be used <laughs> oh you guys are you guys are really brutal sometimes stuffy stuffy d4hl says toye looks more like a more like special pillsy eric reader says uh ron toye looks like a 15 inch shell from the battle cruiser hood gave him a direct hit his face looks stunned during the deposition Renegade581 says, Soy Boy isn't beating anyone, not even himself. The Neon Outlaw says, This Toye guy looks like he regularly gets pegged by a Pringles can strapped to Monica's waist on a near daily basis. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what a weakling. Again. Is that the normal? <laughs> that is 
That is horrible. <laughs> Death Wish says, Ty Beard isn't even the biggest beard in this video. Is he straight white male toy? Eh? <laughs> Come on, damn, Billy. Damn, Chad is all fucking fired tonight. Holy they're shit, they're brutal. Billy Glesner says he looks nervous as hell, like a squirrel tweaking. Lol. Uh, let's see. John Albert says, "Hey Nick, love your streams today. I found my out my uncle Godfather stage four lung cancer that spread to his hip. I'm hoping he'll be okay. Oh man, best wishes. That's uh, that's rough. That's rough. Ooh, so." Yeah, man. A to P says, Cody, hit me up for social cue training after this. <laughs> Can Mar do, buddy. Mark Nichols says, a shot for every time there's objection to form. No, I cannot no, recommend this. You'd, you'd all be dead. Uh, Gladiator says, shut up, Cody, please. Shut Cody up, please. Why is he here? Did he pay? No, people don't pay me to come on the show. He's here at my invitation. Thank you. Yeah. The Gamer Hero Gamer XZ Zero says, Does it make me a bad person that watching this depo makes me want to punch Ron? I don't usually go to violence, but come on, man. The, as long as you don't punch him, that's a good thing. You shouldn't use violence. The Game Idea Guy says, So if Ron Soy Toy the Third is accused of pedophilia and he gets fired without actual proof, then he deserves to be fired? Good to know. He said it. Guns Down and Hail says, What a creepy smile, Ron. Almost evil. Harbinger. Uh, 345 says, I copy pasted a story I found, so now it's true. Chris Nemo says, Cody's redeeming himself. Ignore the haters. Zypher Warrior says, watch his right shoulder shrugs. He's lying then. Gladiator says, dump Cody and get hero hay. Jedi Nightwing says, by that logic, if two people say you're a murderer, I guess you're a murderer now. Sorry to break the news to you. Gladiator says, Cody is a poor man flea market version of Jim. <laughs> I think that is a compliment, sure. Isn't everybody? Isn't everybody? <laughs> a little bit, yeah, a little bit. Uh Dave94 says he wink faces in real life as much as on Twitter. Kilo Bravo 777 says, answer the question, Soye. Blink your eyes 1400 says, who is smarter, Ron or Shane? Oh god, that's it's a black hole. I think uh, I can answer that, um, honestly. A little bit, I would say Ron, because Ron is at least listening to his lawyers coaching enough and is trying to bullshit his way. Ron has a fantastic future in politics with all this I refuse to answer weasel word shit. Shane, like I would say he put his foot in his mouth, but he, I think he does that regularly. I think that's how he gets sustenance. Like Shane was just a, a dribbling moron, just bleh, diary of the mouth shit. And I'm saying this. So I've, uh, I've been called I, out. I've been called out for the lies of Nick Ricada by my own discord. Oh my no. own, my own Judas discord has called me out called me to task there was one time uh that i accepted someone on after they paid that was watermelon platypus he dropped a bunch of donations one night and then asked to come on and i did let him back on so thank you you, you I, sell out i absolutely i absolutely will sell out if someone drops hundreds of dollars on the on this show and asks to come on uh pretty much pretty much i'll find a way to get him on um, you know, that's, I have no shame in that Dave 94. Oh wait, no. Uh, let's see. B woods place says listening to this cuck talks. Make me, makes me want to impregnate my wife to offset the lack of testosterone in the world. <laughs> Whatever gets you there, buddy. Yeah. Finn, Finn frog says sassy. Ron is sassy. Cool. Objection. Tie. Cool. Uh, Dr. S says, I'm going to go donate to the GoFundMe now. Hey, thank you. Thank you. DCV nice Titan. More. DCV Titan says, I can't decide who is worse, Ron or Shane. We're reach, reaching levels of idiocy that devour solar systems with its density. No one important says, this ain't Twitter, honey. You don't get to control this narrative or block us. Answer the question with those dumb answers. Uh, Christine Hansapoulos says, are you sure he's not a trans woman? I will make no allegations. I don't want to misgen misgender he, her, him. I don't know. <laughs> Detective Saku Satoshi Sakudo says, Ronald Toye, another dumb guy. Daniel Velez says, someone call 911. We dying out here. Deposition OP. Uh, no one important says, oh God, he is the smiley. Uh, Kiru Unme, Unme says, finally subbed last night after your amazing stream. Hey, thank you. Been watching a while and I love your stuff. God bless you, magnificent bastard. Billy Glesner says, me... Man, he is so dumb, lol. You can hear Ty getting fed up with him, lol. Shine. You can, actually. There's a couple points you hear Ty whisper shit, like, yeah. in frustration. There's no way he can be denying this, like, that kind of shit. Like, it's oh. actually pretty funny if you go back and listen if you missed it. It's gonna, that's gonna really come into play later. 
<laughs> uh, spoiler alert. Shining Ooh. Nebula says to everybody in the stream, if you have any self-esteem issues, at least you don't wake up every day as Shane or Toye, just saying. Bamboo Shoot says what an adorably bastardized smug Mary Sue he is. Criminal Imagination says the L.A. Noir protagonist would have a field day. Nocturnus says, good lord, Ron, see a doctor and get some TRT. <laughs> Flat, Flatface7777 says, do an image search for Godfrey Elfwick. Oh, Seriously. Yes. yes, I know you're talking about. Yeah, it's, it was like a parody Twitter account that eventually got nuked. And the guy was like dead on to the point where he fooled a couple news outlets. Oh, okay. He was amazing. Mash up potatoes. Oh, excuse me. Says Ron Sawyer is the gayest straight man to ever exist. DCV Titan says Cody, Ty will be in touch for that suggestion. I don't ben, know what suggestion that was. I think it was it was it was an awful one. It was <laughs> I, I don't remember what is you this, said. I remember it the narwhal joke. <laughs> I I know. It, well, I don't know. Maybe it, I don't recall, but I do recall being traumatized by it. <sighs> Uh, and, and I may or may not have received a communication directly to you that a certain person never wants to hear that ever again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ben Frail says Deuteronomy 1915. Uh, Bellicor 40K says Ron looks uncomfortable because he prefers to watch from the corner. Emery Kalame says I could not find him guilty of kid fiffling because I don't think he could take his pants off without help. <laughs> Mr. DJ Fly Eye says, Hey, Mars Girl, I think Juwario and his name, uh, I think Juwario and his name is Ron Toye. Also, Ron looks like Pro Jared after a brief time skip. Venom Venomine says, My sides are in orbit. This case is in the bag. Uh, well, just wait. Law Twitter will tell you that they are they're just fine and everything's fine. Nothing, the, you know, sitting with the room on fire, everything's fine. This is fine. I, my THLC says Vic is going to win because Ron is clearly Shane 2.0. Get wrecked. Miss Meadow Kitty says you were in trouble with the gay CIA, Nikki boy. Oh, okay. No one important. Very hey, Davis joke. No, no one important says Ron ignoring Twitter. Objection. Andrew War Snowboard says, why is he in a chair and not uh, a black couch? <laughs> Rick, Rick Nikita says object to forum. Forum. Uh, Ike 13D says, wish I could join you folks. Unfortunately, I'll have to catch this later since I'm joining the 60 plus hour work week club this week. Oh man. Oof. Sorry, buddy. Uh, good luck with that. Van Jarman says objection to form every 10 seconds. WTF. Austro Hungarian Strat says, I know who he reminds me of Mark Jefferson from life is strange. The teacher that abducted schoolgirls to take pictures of them in his basement. Deathwish says, drink every time Casey says objection to form. News report, 8,450 die from alcohol poisoning in one night. The game idea guy says, objection to form, Streets of Rage intro remix now. Uh, Mr. Vile says, can we put more attention on the sit on my earthworm gym face comment? It was ingenious. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe that was a horrid suggestion. Might have been. Uh, Venomine says, Nick, in all my time watching you, I can confidently say that including Cody on this stream was, per in particular, was a mistake. Wow. Wow. Some... Well, I disagree, sir. I had a fantastic <laughs> time. Random McRanderson says, I'll donate $10 if you kick Cody. Now, I don't tend to do that. Uh, underscore says, objection to form. We will defend ourselves. Uh, D Death Tree Origin says he talks how he types smiles all the time blink your eyes 1400 says did he ingest all of the soy in the world uh Kelde no that would be charitable Keldeo the horse says soy looks like a flamboyant tony stark character holding says objection to form no one important says objection to foos uh that that was sleeping i think the killer critic says he sounds even more like a snake than i thought Billy Glessner says, Casey saying objection to form every after every question is getting annoying, but very funny, lol. Uh, the Gamer Hero says, take a drink every time Casey mutters objection to form. Perception Check says, he just said that if the industry didn't want me, then it's fair. Did he just telegraph the civil conspiracy? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Zur uh, Zuri says, chinless super soyan. <laughs> Say Brav says, weasels drink soy. I did not know that. Uh, Bad Dragonite says, Narwhal's head spike is a tooth, not a horn, you heathen. I'm so terribly sorry. 
Finfrog says your lies are like bananas. They come in big yellow bunches. Moist John says, depending on what he says under oath, could we legally call Ron a pedo? <laughs> Apparently uh, not. You get your banned from Twitter. No, well, but according to law Twitter, according to people like Doucette, uh, you can call him pedo all day. No Man, matter. I say law Twitter. I've never seen a group of people that have just like. I don't. I can't imagine anyone hiring any of these fucks to represent them with the well, shit they say. Like you just take one look at this guy's tweets. And, oh fuck that! No, that's got to be devastating. Your shitty ass law practice. The shit that comes out of your Twitter mouths. I have no idea if it is or not. Hmm. Yeah. Super Sentai guy says, hey, Nick, awesome show tonight. Totally stealing the horny whale line. That floored me. <laughs> uh, character holding, objection to form. M says, see you, space soy boy. Uh, what up, M? Character holding says, objection to form. You can call me Al, says, great. Get memology to do the Toy A Liar video. He mastered the art. Bogus Fortune says, Ty, I'm not trying to trap you, but I'm totally trying to trap you. Talbot <laughs> Link says, playing smooth jazz behind this vid is gold. Rolana one says just a question, but can the info from the depositions be used to defeat a motion to dismiss? Absolutely. Tracy Smith says anime fan or at anime fan three, five, three, five. It's like Ron Toye has Twitter Tourette's uh, gladiator says, I bet Cody's bull likes him. Also talent seer says, could Casey have actually counseled Ron to not recall making his tweets? Is this a valid strategy? It's the likely thing that happened. Infernal Iris says, I wouldn't buy a toilet from this manlet, let alone a freaking house. Are there any issues with this property? Ron, I can't remember. Not to be fair, he's a mortgage uh, loan officer, not a not a realtor. So he's not selling the houses. The house is sold by by the other person. He's just writing the, the loan. Dan Campbell says, I've been deposed and I never understood why my lawyer said that I was one of the best he's ever seen, which confused me until I saw this one. Blackwing02, objection, form. No Name says, bet Toye can't recall how many kids he's touched. Criminal Imagination says, we want everything to be public. Oh, did you think Vic was going to be publicly humiliated? How precious. <laughs> Xenosass says, that look to Casey when Ian came up, though. Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting, especially because if you remember, Ian Sinclair took one of Vic's roles after he got well, booted. I mean, we, we're not talking about how Vic, Vic getting removed by by uh, people in the industry might help other people in the industry. We're, we're not talking about that. Uh, mm -hmm. We wouldn't, we wouldn't want to figure out how Ian Sinclair might be involved in that either. Finn frog says, ha ha. Thanks Cody. All round <laughs> one says I did not consent to Cody ASMR. Gawker's <laughs> Gawker's death rattle says Ron's jawline. GoFundMe has already been filled a uh, faster, faster than do sets. I would have to say. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Carroll, thanks for the donation. No one important says arrested and for something needing money. Guilty. Vaccines don't cause autism, says longtime viewer, first time super chat. Ron so effeminate slash soy. He's the kind of guy that probably bought and vaped Belle Delphine's used dirty bathwater. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Can you vape that? Uh, I think someone did. Someone someone did vape bathwater? From what I hear, yeah, someone vaped her uh, her bathwater. All right. Uh, that whole situation, everybody involved, her and everybody that bought it's a bunch. Ugh, it's just a bunch of fucking. You know what? I, I got. Words. I think I heard that Bell makes something like a hundred and fifty thousand dollars a month on Patreon. You make a lot of money manipulating sad, lonely men. Sad, lonely men are the, the desperate. They're desperation, and they got a lot of disposable income. It's, it's sad. I'm selling my bath water uh, starting tomorrow. <laughs> We're going to undercut Bell. It's $25 a bottle. Uh, Joint VW says, Ty scares me with how relaxed and cool he is. I would never want to be up against him. Chimera Comics says, when asked who's paying fees, he almost said Shane. But we know that's not true. Gawker's Death Rattle says, Proverbs 12.22, lying lips are abomination to the Lord. Eman 2 Manny says, Ron the Muppet Soye the third. Oak 1971 says, please indicate on the doll where Ron Soye touched your child. Harbinger 345 says, Ron Soy offends me. I've been assaulted by soy. Beefsteak says, gosh, dang, rip, dame, Twitter. Uh, Pie Baker says, his name is pronounced toy in Woody, in Woody impression. I, I can't do a Woody impression right now. God, I'd have to listen to it. You're a toy. You're not a real thing. You're an action figure. You're a child's plaything. I, did, I didn't, I wasn't doing it. I couldn't, I can't do it off the cuff. I haven't heard, I haven't heard, heard him in long enough. Well, since the, his name actually is, his last name actually is pronounced Toy, that means that when you make fun of him, you can just straight up call him Ron Soy. Yeah. 
The big fee. Thanks. thanks for donation. Noah McDevitt says, yo, Nick, where do I get to find the case documents? You can find them on research, Texas courts. Uh, just Google research, Texas courts, and then you can set up an account and you can get them. Otherwise they're around. I think Shane has a Dropbox. I think Kiwi farms posts them. Uh, you can go check there. Long year says it's like somebody tried to grow a new Kevin Smith entirely from soy, but they couldn't wait and diddled it while it was still growing in Minecraft. <laughs> Rando number nine says, still got to disavow Vic for having low standards, guys. I wouldn't let Monica or any of these roasties near my hotel room. <laughs> Finn Frog says, is Vic Jedi Sith now? Force kisses? Uh, Rando number nine says, guys, F in chat for Dame Pesos. His last tweet was him calling Soye a pedo. <laughs> Michael Gonzalez says, hmm, he blinks his eyes every time he lies. He had a bad poker face. Rusty Marriott says, did Vic deposition went bad? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, Tubster says, Soye looks... You'll get to watch it. You'll get to watch it and make up your own mind. Tubster says, Soye looks like a little boy who has drawn facial hair and put on his dad's glasses, ignoring that he probably had an absentee father. So feminine. Shining Nebula says, Ron lost his memory when the guy he was bringing a snack tray to threw his cow at him in Minecraft. <laughs> Uh, Revelation 64, thanks for the donation. I'm JC says no while being deposed, soy boy jokes. E man to many. <laughs> Answer the question. No. Or say say the names again. No. Uh yes. <laughs> e man to many says, here's some moolah to the Lady Racket spa funds. What, Thank what? you. Snub birth 13 <laughs> says he's not wrong. He does guard sheep. The four legs guard two legs, bad kind. Uh, GR People says Ron Soye Twitter sniper. Revelation 64, thank you. Uh, Sir Ossie says I'm a guard dog. Oh, uh, Finn Frog says Ron Toye, a real American hero. Arf, arf, arf. King Explosion Murder says Sheep Dog for the MCU. Cheetah Blood 321 <laughs> says New Disney character Ronald Cuck. Uh, Is Halesen says Wait a minute. He said This is my Twitter handle. Didn't he open at the start with I don't know my handle? Uh, Brain Paint says it's sad that Leafy couldn't get a chin after doing HRT. Someone should have told him estrogen doesn't help with that. Now he's an old, irrelevant cuck. <laughs> tai Chi Magna says I sent you an email. Please respond when you can. Bad Dragonite says Vic in Broly voice. Kakarot, I look like I'm 40. <laughs> Felipe M says Nick do you think these dimwits will be able to win the case with the I don't remember stuff how is it possible to def win a defamation case saying he doesn't remember anything we'll have to see we'll have to see no one important says you can tell Ty is getting fed up with Ron's BS Finn Frog says Ron Toye enter the Cuckterverse uh, Bad Dragonite says 12 pickle jars uh, where are you putting those pickles hmm J. Cephas says, Cuck Smuggler Mugs win. P Cuck Smuggler Mugs win. Uh, I don't know. Alec Detmering, thank you for the donation. Uh, no Name says, is Toy sure that he's engaged to Monica? I'm not sure. Overkillery says, Sheepdog Man will protect your Bennis with his mouth. <laughs> R.M. Ecky Lover says, Takes a take a shot for every no, he says. Aquarian Dragon says, hello, Mr. Ricada. I've been following the whole Vic case since the beginning. I found your videos uh, on the law to be very informative. He's got five, five of these. Uh, he says, while today's discussion is an analysis of Mr. Toy's answer during his deposition, I think there was no need for you to show the video. If there was a transcript of the video, I think that would have been more than enough to analyze his answers. Uh, I disagree. There is no need to be criticizing Mr. Toy's voice, appearance, or body language. Why not? The jury will. I'm not sure if this borderlines or is cyberbullying. Absolutely not cyberbullying. Offering an opinion that I think uh, a Texas jury will find to be consistent. Uh, or that you'll find consistent with the Texas jury. I will continue to watch your future videos, but I hope that you focus more on discussing the subject at hand rather than ridicule another person. Well, it's going to be a little of this, little of that. Sorry. Palix Tobin says, look at him, pretend to read the tweets, lol. Rick Moranis says, statistically, a sample size of 300 plus public statements might be enough to have him committed. Uh, Ichisinko says, or Finfrog says, this stream equal lawyer version of Mystery Science Theater 3K. Uh, oh, just wait. Just wait till we have the uh, the big brain panel do one of these. Ooh. 
Ichisinko says, Ron, soy boy toy is basically Dory from Finding Nemo. Monkey Elvis says, this idiot is responsible for real estate legal documents and he can't remember anything he tweets or follow basic conversational principles. Wow. Uh, Walter Gilbert says, $5 for every tweet he remembers. Rip. Uh, Magnus Genesis says, so Soye blocked me on Twitter. Can I sue him now? He's, yes. <laughs> Ultimate IRS says Ron Soye is illiterate. Uh, Bad Dragonite says by the end of this, Cody will be that guy at the end of a Clockwork Orange. Only instead of Beethoven sending him to ecstasy, it'll be objection to form. <laughs> Negative penalty says it's like watching Woodstock get deposed. Uh, Walter Gilbert says every tweet I every tweet remembered, I'll pay five dollars. That's just mean. That's a tease, Walter. That's a tease. <laughs> Silent D production says Ron might as well say goodbye to that Audi he was talking about on Twitter a while back. He won't be able to afford that ride now. Let's fix Audi now. Uh, Evade Nellis says Ty is pulling a 4D chess move before our eyes. Red Grave Gaming, thanks for donation. Walter Gilbert says for future ca cause cases of possible similar incident, would you say or give your personal opinion as to whether or not speculation without evidence should be the base for the destruction of one career? Uh, it should not. Should not be the base of destruction. Scott Severin says, I just got here. Can you start over? Yes. We'll start over. <laughs> Winged Paragon says, just woke up. Can I get a link to Ron's doc? Uh, I don't. Which? I, I don't think, know what I you want. I think they thought you, we were going to read the deposition and there wouldn't be a video. Oh, God. That would be worse. Because uh, <laughs> er, people on Twitter were like, are you going to do the voice of Ron? <laughs> so yeah, we're going to go back and forth and role play it. That could have been kind of fun, but it it gets it gets really hard to keep the enthusiasm for such a long thing. Yeah. Again, it's yeah. four and a half hours. Uh, Urahara Kisuke says, Soye's called a pedo and sues. This deposition equals defense. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, Viden the Cold One says, it's me again. It's been a blast listening. Hey, thank you. Cesario JPN says, snort, sniff. Oh, I fell asleep. It's over now. Finfrog says, Cody scurred all the nine-year-olds out of the chat. Stand with Vic says, thou shalt, thou shalt not bear, bear false witness, Ron Soye. Stand with Vic says, according to Soye, Jesus sexually assaulted children in Mark 10, 16, quote, and he took the children in his arms, placed his arms on them, and blessed them. Rolana 1 says, any updates on Ty's motion to compel as they played games with Discovery? Uh, I'm guessing there will be a hearing set on that motion at some point in the near future. Fatman56 says, Cody, who are you calling a sellout after not telling perfection to run and hide? Nick going to get you perfection. So much for I love perfection. Uh, what? I, I don't know what that's I, about. That one confuses me. I don't know. Look, Did I you? still love perfection. I, he, he is adorable. He's funny. I don't oh, want him to go away. You made a comment earlier in the stream that you are starting to love Ron, I think, like you love perfection. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Look, look yeah. I'm, a big, I'm a big man with a big heart. I, I, I can love many people. I have many loves. <laughs> Red, Redgrave Gaming says, Ron's hairline is running away from his smirk. Sonic, <laughs> Sonic Jr. says, doesn't Ty sometimes sound like Dr. Phil? Well, that's the, the South coming out. Austin Heartless says, Su objection to sexual orientation. Keldeo the Horse says, can I get a happy birthday to my girlfriend, Alex? Yeah, happy birthday, Alex. Happy birthday. Billy Glesner says, have another $5 just for being awesome. Nick Cody is awesome, too. Thank you. Bad Vibe says, Nick, one of the super lawyers is a retired assistant AG of Oregon, and they handled at least two cases where one word caused reversals and appeals. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, you know, I'm not going to criticize. I'm not going to criticize. That's the interesting thing. I'm not really in the business of criticizing other people's work. But, uh, you know, whatever. Tenshi says, my girlfriend and I like you, Cody. Don't listen to the hate. Well, I mean, that's not true. Hold on. Let me rephrase that. I am definitely interest interested in criticizing certain people's work, uh, especially in cases like Vic's, in cases like Maddox's, uh, in cases like uh, the quarterings, um, you know, other uh, other cases like that. But uh, I'm not going to go slag people for mistakes that they may have made in their careers. Um, not at all. The timing was perfect. It's like, that's not true. Him and his girlfriend do not like you, Cody. Don't oh, even yeah. lie to yourself. <laughs> well, that's true. Don't. They, they, that was, it was a $2 super chat, so you know it wasn't true. Midnight in Exile <laughs> says, this all makes sense when you consider that Ron is a chick doing a bad impression of a dude. Uh, XX joking XX. Thanks for the donation. Big Fee says, can Lady Rackets lean in and say, shoot. Can you? Are you going to? make it i'm gonna fall asleep so bad man 
shoot <laughs> there we go there's shoot <laughs> nick please get josh i like his laugh well i mean i just i don't know maybe akiva will sue josh or do you mean josh from the big brain panel uh we're gonna we're gonna working on that that one guy says just got here wtf is going on uh we're just finishing up some super chats here pal and then uh we're almost done um almost done lady rackets might fall over before we're done but uh we are almost done she was trying to get entertained and then ron soy happened uh yeah it's it's hard i told her i told her watching this would put her to sleep immediately okay um all right, I'm finding the... I'm getting caught up to where I... Uh, I'm on Streamlabs now. We're almost done. We're almost done. Streamlabs. Uh, Bourbon... Sem oh, I read that one. Um, oh, Concerned Citizen says Dick Masterson is wrong about white privilege. Okay. I haven't listened to his thing on it. Chad Manning says Ronald Toye raped me. Well, if it was said on the internet, it must be true. Cit uh, the Allegations of Ron Toye's rape have spread around the internet to several thousand people. A uh, citizen of Yarm Yarnum says, This is the first time I heard Soye talk. There's no doubt in my mind that this dude is using Rial as a cover for his late night, totally hetero man on man back rubs. <laughs> Kay says, I mean, He does seem to really like Chris Sabat. So, you know, there might be something going on there. That's a weird picture. Kay <laughs> says, Every time you pause the video, it looks like Ronnie is looking at someone's massive cock. Uh, <laughs> Dio DeMort says, I sent you a Twitter DM. I'd really appreciate it if you'd read it. Thank you so much for everything you do. I'll have to try and find it. Mercenary says, I have to say this soy boy gives me some seriously bad vibes. I'm talking about, I don't know. I have a bad feeling he may be guilty of some crimes that he's accusing Vic of. I hope I'm wrong, but I don't think so. Pure NPC and maybe evil. What's interesting is that people are going to pick up on stuff like that. He's not likable. When he goes in front of the, when he goes on the witness stand or when he's at deposition, that unlikability is going to play into the minds of a jury and a judge. Kay says, so four people call up his place of work and call him a pedophile and he brought it back to the court to complain about it. Does that mean he perjured himself? Uh, well, he might just change his mind. Ron's manhood. The third says Ron got bullied in high school and he is the biggest cuck and wanted revenge on the chads because Monica has me in her. He's purse uh absolutely base says i bet this whole situation started because watch mojo's top 10 dub, dub actors had Vic at number three and todd habercorn at number two spoiler warning monica sabbat and no one else involved were at number one Oof. uh let's see quinn uh quinn not etiquette quinn not etiquan says jesus tap dancing christ this is destiny levels of debate Knight of Hopex says, I'm a virgin and I can't believe for any reason this POS knows what the inside of a vagina feels like. If so, me and womankind need to sit down and have a heart to heart. Ladies, Look, how bruh, did you let this happen? There's no effing way, man. Bruh, sometimes a girl just wants a minion. Sometimes there are some women that are just, they're fucked up. And you know what, man? You should be thankful that you're not getting those women because there are good women out there. They're just waiting for you. They're waiting for you, my man. You yeah. don't want a you don't want a Monica. She's looking for a she's looking for a toady that she can order around like a little little henchman. She don't want she don't want a real man. She don't want a relationship. And if you were with a woman like that, man, you'd be miserable. So thank your lucky stars that that man knows what that particular rotted vagina looks like, and you don't. Oh God! Short round. Short round says I am working on your Fireball and SCCY firearm sponsorship. Yeet cannons for days. <laughs> Short rounds, bad police advice number four. If the officer speeds to catch you speeding, you are allowed to citizen arrest him and ticket him. I've done this. 18 USC 4.27. Please buy my merch. Uh, yeah, check out Short Round, guys. Cass Michael says, EVS won't bring Rusty Cage on Comics Gate Live because Rusty is a superior musician. Hated Seven Days to Die says, will Judge Chubbs not be annoyed by objection to form for literally every question? No, he won't. That one he won't be, he won't be mad about. Uh, hated seven days to die says it must hurt to have a narrative so bad that your deposition makes you look even more like a clown than you did before neil purcell says ron sounds like bruce the performance artist on family guy chad manning says help us nick don't leave us with him he's almost as scary as when ron toye raped the children at monica's signing uh, again another another rape allegation in front of thousands of people for ron toye it must be true i mean he's gonna have to lose his job now this is just this is just unacceptable I guess people can credibly rep report that these rumors exist against Ron Toye, 
I mean, what what reason would they have to think they were false? I can't he and he certainly cannot sue anybody and merely say that the statements are false, that he's never raped anybody. He can't assert any facts of the truth uh, or of what his version of the truth is. That would be that would be he can't, he can't do it. He has to prove that he didn't rape people. FGC Anon says the way Ron speaks is like a smug bastard that wants to bait a person into punching him so he can take them to court. I'm also convinced that Monica dates Ron for free rent. Uh, LOL says Mid America Mortgage. It's ma'am. Uh, <laughs> Toye's Big Black Dildo says I am the high pitched sissy voice of the voiceless. I am the role model of Americans, America's soy boys. I am the terror that cucks in the night. I am the great <laughs> soyper man. Uh, Homestiv says, do you think Ron's lawyer was sketchy enough to coach his clients say, I don't know, to everything in deposition? It's actually not a sketchy strategy to, to not remember all this stuff. Where it becomes bad is when you have to maybe use the things that you don't remember to go ahead and prove a factual assertion for your affirmative defense. Matt Roofer says, if I was Ty, I would have asked Ron if he remembered walking into the courtroom today. <laughs> Toye's repressed memory says, is anyone thinking of Lord British from Ultima 9 saying, I'm not entirely sure, or is it just me? Can somebody meme that? Homestiv says, uh, Ty making Ron read all of these tweets page by page is sheer brilliance. Uh, yeah, that, that'll play nice in front of a jury. Rick Conigan says, another reminder to fix the playlist. I really want to catch up on all this, but I have no clue where to start for the three missing months between now and the end of the playlist. Also pretty fun waking up to a stream happening. 9 a.m. here now. Hey, thank you. And San Roye says, obviously King Crimson was activated every time Ron was going to tweet. <laughs> and then uh, finally, my doll face 123 says, I was actually assaulted at 11 by my boyfriend's grandfather. I wonder if Ron will be my attack sheepdog and go attack him in hell where he where I know he is now. Jellybean story is disgusting to real victims. Mm, brutal. Yeah, Snarkticon DM says, can you get Lady Rackets to beat up Megan Rapinoe? Who's Megan Rapinoe? That name sounds familiar, but I can't remember. Esme Illis Anime says, feed her Josh from Kiwi Farms. Oh, now I know who you're talking about. We'll have to see. Bad Dragonite says, here's part of my payment plan to come on the show. <laughs> Austin Artless says, Soye can't remember if the allegations have merit. Goru says, will we now see Toye Pesos born? Oh, gosh, that'd be funny. Uh, all right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Cody, thanks for joining me tonight. Yeah, it was a blast, man. We, uh, we will have to talk again at some point in the future. And uh, to you guys out in the chat, stay tuned this week. It's going to get wild. It's going to get a little wild. Wild. Uh, <laughs> anything you want to anything you want to talk about before we buzz off here, Cody? Uh, uh, at Lord Schmecky on Twitter. I have other stuff to plug, but I could just plug it there. Um, I usually just talk about my, you know, my comic projects. My, you know, we've got Anime Outsiders got a big video coming up. A lot of people have been asking us about um, following the DC Douglas video in the same vein. We're uh, looking into the infamously terrible anime youtuber uh, mother's basement and all his uh deceptive shit the shilling is better help involvement mm. all that all that good stuff uh it's a big video big but it's almost done like 99 percent uh so that's coming um and then we'll probably also do some follow-up on the tom whalen thing uh and a lot of a lot of projects from ao uh i don't have i don't do youtube so i don't have a youtube to plug um and is that's it? it i can think anything anything else all right man support well the gofundme yeah support the gofundme guys and we'll uh we'll see we'll see i can't wait for some of these motions really can't wait and i think uh i think things are going to be interesting over the next couple weeks as as some of these motions uh come to hearings and certainly we see more weird flailing motions about deposing me uh that'll be please don't do that ron i don't want you to uh I'm scared. Ron, he sounds serious. You got to back off, man. Come on, man. Just have a heart. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for hanging out. We'll talk to you soon. Peace. Peace. Is that a show close official? Well, you you got to stop talking because you're on the... The, the music's going to play over your track, and there's nothing I can do about it. So. Anyway, man, I'll see you later, buddy. Oh, he drinks a fair Peace. bit, but you really...
realize that it just helps get his noggin jogging along with his glass by his side and his kids asleep tight. We'll hear some lost planning tonight. Oh, I should turn off my with mic. mic. Later, guys. His face become redder as he becomes better, raging at idiots from Twitter land. From the white shores of Maine to the hills of Glen Livet, there's no one who explains the law better than Nick. So pour out a glass for the ones who have passed to make the law what we have now. Oh, his lady is fair and she handles herself with the grace of one who has born. Many children as the wife of a lawman she makes sure that he has the time and the place to provide for them there so pour out an art bag about more of the frog the spirits flow as the ones who get on the floor so pour out a glass for the tea post on twitter as we hear lost planning tonight from the white shores of man to the hills of glen limit there's no one who explains the thought better than so pour out a glass for the ones who have passed To make the law what we have now Oh, the guests are all plentiful From Doug T to Drexel They bring their perspective and spice to the mix But the reason we're here and the one that we cheer Is the one who is showcasing us his career Shores of man to the hills of Glen Limit. There's no one who explains the thought 